so that we are able to see his characteristics. This is in, this is in Genesis 12, 12, 1. And I would just like us to read as we see how, it, how Abraham walked with God. And it reads, the Lord had said to Abraham, go from your country, your people, and your father's house to the land I will show you. Mwanzo 12 mstari wake wa kwanza Bwana akawa amemwambia Abrahamu ondoka kutoka inji yako uache jamii yako na nyumba ya baba yako uende hadi inji nitakayokuonyesha In verses 2 and 3 are the promises which reads I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you I will make you I will make your name great and you will be a blessing I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you, I will curse. And all people on earth will be blessed through you. Mstari wa pili na watatu, una zinao ahadi. Mimi, nitakufanya taifa kubwa, na nitakubariki. Nitakuliguza jina lako, nawe utakuwa baraka. Nitawabariki wale, wanao kubariki, Na yeyote anaye akulaanie nitamlaani na kupitia kwako mataifa yote duniani yatabarikiwa. So let's see how Abraham honored the Lord. In verse 4 it says that so Abraham went as the Lord had told him and Lot was with him. Abraham was 75 years old when he set out from Aram. Hivyo Abraham akaondoka kama Bwana alivyokuwa amemwambia. Nae, loti akaondoka pamoja nae, wakati Abrahamu ali, alipoitwa aondoke harani, alikuwa na miaka sabini na mitano. And this is the faith of Abraham. He took his wife Sarai and his nephew Lot and all possessions they had accumulated and the people they had acquired in Haram and they set out to the land of Canaan and they arrived there. He ndiyo imani ya Abrahamu. Abrahamu akamchukua Sarai mkewe pamoja na Loti mwana wa nduku yake ma, ma, mali zote walizokuwa nazo pamoja na watu aliokuwa amewapa huko harani akasafiri mpaka inji ya Kanani wakafika huko and we see that Abraham was able to take all his possessions tunaona ya kwamba Ibrahimu aliweza kuchukua Mali yake yote, he didn't leave anything that would take him back to where he had come from. Chochote, ambacho kime, 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 murudisha, toka. And as we go through this uh, Bible study, my question is, how have you responded to your call? Na tunapo, endelea na haya mafunzo ya Biblia, ningependa kukuuliza, je, umeitika, umeitika na mnagani katika mwito wako. How have you responded to your call? Je, umeitika vipi katika mwito wako? And let's read from as 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 we look at the faith of Abraham. Next um, next verse, Genesis 15:6. Tunapo angalia imani ya Ibrahimu, wacha tusome mwanzo Genesis 15:6. 15, and it says, inasema Abraham believed Abraham believed the Lord. Abrahamu akamwamini Bwana and he credited it to him as righteousness. Naye kwake hili likahesabiwa lika kuwa haki. Have you believed the Lord? Umemwamini Bwana. Have you believed the Lord? Umemwamini Bwana. I want us to take us to the next scripture. I have a number of scriptures. I have a number of scriptures so I want us to take us to the next scriptures in the book of James 2. Ningependa twende katika andiko lingine ninazo maandiko kadhaa James 2:20 to 23 Yakobo 2 20 to 23 20 hati 23 But the key scripture is verse 23 but I'll, I'll start from 20 Lakini andiko nyeti ni 23 ingawa nitaanzia 20 It reads you foolish person do you want evidence that faith without deed is useless? Ewe mpumbavu. Je, wataka kujua kwamba imani bila matendo haifai kitu? 
was not our father Abraham considered righteous for what he did when he offered his son Isaac on the altar? Je, Abraham baba yetu hakuhesabiwa haki kwa kile alicho alichotenda alipomtoa mwanawe Isaka madhabahuni? You see that his faith and his actions were working together and his faith was made complete by but by by what he did. Unaona jinsi ambavyo imani yake na, na matendo yake vilivyokuwa vinatenda kazi pamoja nayo imani yake ikakamilishwa ika na kile alichotenda. And verse 23 the, the key scripture that I wanted to get us to and the scripture was fulfilled that says Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness and he was called God's friend. Ishirinatatu, ambayo ndilo andiko nyeti. Kwa njia hiyo ya, ya katimizwa yale maandiko ya semayo. Abrahamu alimwamini Mungu na akahesabiwa kwake kuwa haki. Naye akaitwa rafiki wa Mungu. Key from that scripture ya kuzingatiwa kutoka katika hilo andiko that his actions were credited to him ya kwamba matendo yake yalihesabiwa kwake and from verse 23 na katika andiko la 23 the, the scripture says that he was called he was called God's friend maandiko yanasema aliitwa rafiki ya Mungu this morning Asubuhi ya leo the other question that i want us to ask ourselves kwa lingine ambalo ningependa tujiulize from our actions from our faith kutokana na imani yetu na matendo yetu can we be called god's friend tunaweza kuitwa marafiki wa mungu has our faith grown imani yetu imekua to such an extent that god can call us his his friend kwa kiwango ambacho mungu anaweza tuita marafiki wake and um, as, as 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 we ponder on that questions on those questions tunapotafakari hayo maswali i want to take us to another scripture in romans 4:16 to 22 ningependa twende katika andiko lingine katika warumi 4 16 hadi 22 and it says 16 hadi 22 therefore the promises comes by faith kwa hiyo ahadi huja kwa njia ya imani the promises comes by faith ili iwe ni kwa neema so that it may be by grace and may be guaranteed to all abrams offsprings na itolewe kwa wazo kwa wazao wa abrahamu si kwa wale walio na sheria pekee yao bali pia kwa wale walio na imani ya Abrahamu not only to those who are of law but also to those who have faith of Abraham si kwa wale walio wa sheria pekee yao bali pia kwa wale walio wa imani ya Abrahamu he is the father of us all yeye ndiye baba yetu zote as it is written jinsi vile imeandikwa i have made you a father of many nations nimekufanya wewe kuwa baba wa mataifa mengi he is our father in the sight of god in Ye, whom he believed yeye ni baba yetu mbele za mungu ambaye yeye alimwamini the god who gives to the to the dead and calls into being things that were not yule mungu anayefufua waliokufa na kuvitaja vile vitu ambavyo haviko kana kwamba vimekwisha kuwako against all hope abram is hope abram in hope believed and so became the father of many nations just as he, it had been said to him so shall your offspring be verse 18 tari wa 18 akitarajia yazio yazioweza kutarajiwa Abrahamu akaamini akawa baba wa mataifa mengi kama alivyoahidiwa kwamba uzao wako utakuwa mwingi mno and verse 19 it says without weakening in his faith he faced the fact that his body was as good as dead since he was about a hundred years old 
and that Sarah's womb was also dead. Kuminatisa, Abraham hakuwa daifu katika imani hata alipo fikiri juu ya mwili wake ambao ulikuwa kama ulio kufa kwani umri wake ulikuwa umekaribia miaka mia moja au alipo fikiri juu ya ufu wa tumbo la sara verse 19 is the key scripture that i wanted us also to 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 have a look at it stari wa 19 ni andiko nyeti ambayo ningependa tuliangalie and what key key item that comes from that verse is without weakening in his faith without weakening in his faith the first line na jambo la imani katika huo mstari ni kwamba hakuwa dhaifu katika imani he faced that he faced the fact that his body was as good as dead alipofikiri juu ya mwili wake ambao ulikuwa kama uliokufa as, as, as we go through this bible study that is a question that i want to ask us to ask ourselves tunapoendelea na haya mafunzo ya biblia hilo ni swali ambalo ningependa tujiulize have we weakened in our faith je tumedhoofika katika imani yetu this is this is very important in our christian walk hii ni ya muhimu sana katika mtembeo wetu wa Kikristo as we can see from our father Abraham tunapoona kutoka kwa baba yetu Ibrahimu just in that book of Romans 4 i would also like us to read from verse 3 katika huo katika hiyo hicho kitabu cha Warumi about our father Abraham and it says what does scripture say Abraham believed God and it was credited, credited to him as righteousness Warumi nne mstari wake wa tatu kwa maana maandiko yasemaje Abrahamu alimwamini Mungu na akahesabiwa kwake kuwa haki It was credited to him as righteousness Alihesabiwa kwake kuwa haki Is your faith can your faith in God be credited to you as righteousness Je imani yako kwa Mungu yaweza kuhesabiwa kuwa haki The way Abraham's faith was credited to him as righteousness. Jinsi vile imani ya Ibrahimu ilihesabiwa kwake kuwa haki. I want to take us to Romans 9:9. Ningependa twende katika Warumi 9:9. Romans 9:9. Warumi 9:9. And it says Nayo inasema for this was how the promises were stated kwa maana ahadi yenyewe ilisema at the appointed time i will return and sarah will have a son nitakurudia tena wakati kama huu naye sara atapata mtoto wa kiume you remember je unakumbuka that the bible says that uh, to abraham he, he had considered himself as dead kwa Ibrahimu alikuwa amejihesabu kuwa mfu and also he and, and also to Sarai as the bible had, um, had just told us na pia kwa Sara jinsi vile biblia imetuambia it had also told us the same ilikuwa imetuambia hivyo hivyo and uh, from this scripture kutoka katika andiko hili over when abram was called he was over 75 years of old wakati of age. wakati ibrahim aliitwa alikuwa zaidi ya miaka 75 and we see that in 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 verse 9 of romans 9 tunaona ya kwamba katika mstari wa 9 wa warumi 9 that it was stated that at, a, at, an, at, a, at an appointed time i will return and sarai will have a son at an appointed time i will return and Sarai will have a son. Nitakurutia tena wakati wakati kama huu naye Sara atapata mtoto wa kiume. And we know that uh, from the scriptures from the book of Genesis tunaona ya kwamba katika maandiko kutoka katika kitabu cha mwanzo the appointed time did come wakati wakati yep. uliokadiriwa and Sarah had a son wakati uliokadiriwa uliwadia naye Sara akapata mwana wa kiume I want us to I want to take us to the book of Genesis Ningependa twende katika kitabu cha mwanzo 22 22 1 to 2 1 hadi 
to see when the promise had been fulfilled that Abraham is it is is tested tuone wakati imani ili hadi ilipotimizwa yes when the promise had been had been fulfilled wakati ahadi ilipotimizwa and Abraham was tested naye Ibrahim akajaribiwa i want us to look at his faith ningependa tuangalie imani yake Genesis 22:1-2 says Kutoka 22 Sometimes later Baadaye God tested Abraham he said to him Abraham here I am he replied Then God said take your son your only son whom you love Isaac and go to the region of Moriah sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on a mountain I will show you Baadaye Mungu akamjaribu Abrahamu akamwambia Abrahamu Abrahamu akajibu mimi hapa kisha Mungu akamwambia umchukue mwanao mwana wako wa pekee Izaki umpendae uende katika nje ya Moria mtoe huko kama sadaka ya kuteketezwa juu ya mlima mmoja wapo nitakayokwambia Just from this scripture kutoka tu kwa andiko hili I want us to look at the faith of Abraham. Ningependa tuiangalie imani ya Abrahamu. Abraham has been told Abrahamu ameambiwa to take his son. Kumchukua mwanawe and the Bible was very specific. Na Biblia ilikuwa ya uhaswa mno the son that he loves. Mwana wa kiume ambaye anampenda. It also provided the name Isaac. Pia ikapeana jina Isaki and it also provided the location that he was supposed to go to Na pia ikapeana pahali ambapo alipaswa kwenda That is Mount Moriah Huo ni mlima wa Moria Sacrifice him there Kumtoa kama sadaka pale as a burnt offering Kama sadaka ya kuteketezwa I would encourage us to read how Abraham was tested in the whole of that verse Ningependa kuahimiza msome katika Abraham alijaribiwa katika huo mstari wote but very key that we need to see from from the faith of Abraham lakini ya msingi sana ambao unapaswa kuzingatia kutoka kwa imani ya Ibrahimu he never discussed in anything with anybody about this yeye hakujadili chochote na mtu yeyote kuhusu haya he just said that he was going he was he, he was living with his son Alisema tu anaondoka na mwanae wa kiume to, 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 to go and offer sacrifice to God. Kwenda kumtoa kama dhabihu kwa Mungu. He also left with his servants. Pia alibaki na watumishi wake and they walked for three days. Nao wakatembea kwa siku tatu. Can you imagine what was going through Abraham's mind for three days? Unaweza wazia kila ambacho ilikuwa kinaendelea katika mawazo ya Ibrahimu kwa siku tatu as they walked towards where he was going to sacrifice his son walipokuwa kitembea kuelekea mahali ambapo angemtoa mwanawe kama dhabihu i'm trying to imagine ajaribu kuwazia what would have happened if abraham would have told sarah that he was going to sacrifice their only son kile ambacho kingefanyika iwapo ibrahimu angemwambia mkewe sara kwamba anaenda kumtoa mwanawe kama dhabihu i'm also trying to imagine pia anajaribu kuwazia what would have happened if he, if he would have told the servants instead of just waiting there the ones he told that wait for me here as we go with my son kile ambacho angewaambia kile ambacho kingetokea iwapo angewaambia watumishi wake ambao aliwaambia wamngoje pale would would he have been able to would he, would he have been able to fulfill God's, God's, God's words. Je, yeah, angeweza kutimiza maneno ya Mungu? So we see that Abraham believed in God's promises. Tunaona ya kwamba Ibrahimu aliamini katika ahadi za Mungu. He, he also trusted in his faithfulness. Pia aliamini katika imani yake. He knew that it's God who had provided um, Isaac. Alijua ya kwamba ni Mungu ambaye alimleta Isaki and he, he also relied in God's word. Na pia aliegemea katika neno la Mungu. 
in today's morning teaching. Katika mafunzo yetu ya asubuhi ya leo. I just want to ask us have we relied in God's promises? Ningependa kuwauliza, je, tumetegemea ahadi za Mungu? Have we gone through God's teaching? Tumepitia katika mafunzo ya Mungu. Have we believed in God's promises? Tumeamini katika ahadi za Mungu katika neno hili? Or have we looked for other opinions? Ama tumetafuta mashauri mengine. Opinions that would have justified our walk with God or our walk our Christian walk on earth. Mawazo ambayo yangenajizi mtembeo wetu na Bwana. As we look at Abraham. Napo mtazama Abraham and his faith. Na imani yake. If he, if he, if he had mentioned some some issues here. Kama angetaja mambo kadhaa hapa, he would have gotten he would have gotten comments that probably may have distracted his work with God. Angepata vizuizi ambavyo vingemzuia kutembea kwake na Bwana. And this would have affected his work. Na hii ingeadhiri mtembeo wake. I want us to, um, I want to complete with a verse one 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 verse Ningependa kuitimisha na andiko moja and this is in Hebrews 11:39 as we complete Na hii ni kutoka katika Waebrania 9:39 11:39 and it says these were all commended for their faith yet none of them received what had been promised had, had been promised these were all commended for their faith. They were all commended for their faith. Hebrews 11:39. Wa Hebrewia 11 mstari wake wa 39. Na watu hao wote wakiishi kushuhudia kwa kwa sababu ya imani yao hawakuipokea ahadi. I would um, encourage us also to read from the book of Hebrews then 11 the the whole 11 it talks about an, a number of people ningependa kutuhimiza ya kwamba tusome katika wa hebrania 11 and in verse 9 it says that these were all commended for their faith mstari wake wa 9 39 says these were all commended for their faith yet none of them received what had been promised just the verse that you actually read Hawa wote walishuhudia vyema kwa sababu ya imani yao lakini hakuna hata mmoja wao mmoja wao aliyepokea yale aliyohaidiwa Would as we go through the faith of Abraham would will you be among those who also be commended for their faith Tunapopitia katika kibali cha Ibrahimu je utakuwa mmoja wa wale ambao watahesabiwa kuwa na imani be blessed. Barikiwe. Blessed people. What to other money? Thank you for coming in and following the the Bible study for today. Asanteni kwa kuja na kufuatilia mafundo ya Biblia asubuhi ya leo. And we we'll, we will transition. Atutaelekea. Um as I had read the program in the morning. Vile, ratiba, ya leo. Uh, we are transitioning to the marriage counseling class. Tunaelekea katika madaraza za za ushauri for, 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 for those who are in the marriage counseling. Kwa wale walio katika mashauri ya wanandoa and for all the new members. Na wale ambao ni wageni. The new believers. Wale waamini wapya. We also have a class for you between 8 and between now and 8.50. At this point, I would like to call on to the worship team to take us through the worship session.
thank you for vigelegele i bless you eternally whoever you are i bless you eternally with eternity hata bwana amemguza pale
Sana Puana, now attack a team water to the Shangilia. Shop with you. Sana Puana. appreciate the worship team. Thank you so much, worship team. 
for that powerful worship station. Before you sit down, please. Welcome your neighbor. Just greet your neighbor. And if there is a seat in front of you, please occupy that seat. Let's welcome, let's greet someone as we occupy the seats that are ahead of us. Today, by the grace of God, I'll be the coordinator of the service today. My name is Elder Steve Kegoli. By the grace of God, I serve in this altar. And I would like to recognize the presence of the widows and the orphans. And also the presence of each one and every one of you who has yeah. been able to come to the service yeah. today. I know it's cold, but you've been able to come and worship with us. Also in addition to that, I would also like to recognize the presence of the online team. Every one of you who has been able to join us online, we really appreciate your presence. At this juncture, I would like to see if we have any visitors by show of hands. Any visitors by show of hands, let's appreciate them. Please rise up on your feet so that the whole church could be able to see you and also to appreciate you. Thank you so much and welcome to Tawala. The Minister of Repentance and Holiness. If you are visiting us for the first time, this is the place of worship. And if you are visiting us from any other altar, you are just a visitor in Nairobi. When you go back, please pass our regards back to the home altars. Among the visitors, I would, just, I would just like to know, do we have any overseer, any, any pastor, any elder, any leader from our ministry or from any other churches? By show of hands, thank you so much. I welcome you to come and, and visit us. On behalf of the visitors, as the other visitors take your seat. As he comes, I would like to let the visitors know that after the service, our senior deputy bishop and the leaders from this altar will fellowship with you. So don't be in a hurry to don't be in a hurry to leave. We'd love to know you. To know where you've come from. And also to fellowship you with you. And also to let you to know us. Karibu. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. I would like to thank God because of this opportunity and the privilege to be in Utawala main altar. My name is Pastor Aja Eric. I'm so humbled to be here today. I happen to come from the larger Busia County and a DAB uh, Isaiah Juma. 
chini ya, ya naibu askofu wa Isaiah and Juma fellowship at uh, Kolanya main altar na naabudu na katika madhabahu ya Kolanya praise the lord jesus bwana yesu asifiwe so i am so humbled kwa hivyo ni manyanyekezo sana i'm also pressing on na pia ninaendelea so that when the messiah comes ili masi atakapokuja i may be ready niwe tayari and counted in na nikaweza kuhesabiwa kuingia may the lord bless you bwana awabariki and may the lord prepare you for the rapture na bwana awaandae ni kwa ajili ya unyakuzi amen amina amen thank amina. you so much asante sana blessed people watu wabarikiwa just to remind each one of us kuwakumbusha tu kila mmoja wetu order of our service our start um, our service starts in the morning ibada yetu inaanza asubuhi from 6 am to 7:20 am kuanzia saa 12 asubuhi hadi saa 12 na 20 with intercessions na maombi maombi from from 7:20 to 7:25 am kutoka saa 1 na 20 hadi saa 1 na 25 we usually have We usually have announcements. Tunakuwa tunakuwa na matangazo. And from 7:25 to 8 around 8 eight, we usually have a Bible study. Na kuanzia saa 2 huwa tunakuwa na masomo ya Biblia. And then also na pia uh, from around 8 to 8:50 kutoka saa 2 hadi saa 2:00 na msini. We usually have different sessions that are ongoing. Tunakuanga na We Na usually wamu, have different sessions that are ongoing. Awamu tofauti tofauti ambayo inaendelea. Like the marriage counseling. Tunayo ile ushauri wa ndoa. The new believers class. Darasa la waamini wa mara kwanza. And also those who are new in the ministry. Pia wale ambao ni wageni katika huduma. And then after that the worship. Na baada hiyo tunakuwa na kuabudu. And I just saw it fit just when I remind us of that order. Ningependa tu kutukumbusha hiyo ratiba. So that next Sunday. Ili Jumapili ijayo. We can be we we can be in church on time. Ili tuje kanisani mapema. Okay, I don't want to take a lot of time. Sitotaki kuchukua muda mrefu. At this point I would like to welcome Christian Baraka. Shalom. Kwa wakati huu ningependa kumkaribisha Christian Baraka. Shalom. Jesse and Lionel. Jesse na Leonard for for worship. Kwa ajili ya kuabudu. And then after them, kisha baada yao, we'll have Olivia Atieno takuwa na Olivia Atieno. Are they in the house today? Je, wako katika nyumba leo? Christian and the team. Christian na kikundi chako. Are they present? Je, wako ndani? Olivia Olivia If Christian and the team is not present Olivia could they be present Olivia je upo Okay since uh, since they are not present I would like to welcome I would like to welcome Pastor Abigail Ningependa kumkaribisha mchungaji Abigail for announcements Kwa ajili ya matangazo the Lord praise the Lord again I would like to worship the Lord with this song
is alone again. My name is Shalom Joy and I born again. Thank you. So The Lord, praise the Lord once more. My name is Christian Baraka and I have a song. Yeah. Check, check. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord once more. My name is Lionel Duile and I have a song. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. My name is Jesse Israel and I have a song. Sit down and come away. Punangu vunam nai. Sit down and come away. Let's appreciate them once again. You have another song? Yes. Adam, na eva wali tenda. Dambi ya siri. Adam, na eva wali tenda. Dambi ya siri. Tunda lile wali. Loka tazwa na mungu wali kula. Dale wali loka tazwa na mungu wali kula. Adam na eva wali tendo. Dambi ya siri. Adam na eva wali tendo. Dambi ya siri. Tunda lile wali loka tazwa na mungu wali kula. Dale wali.
Let's appreciate them once again. Watch out to go my coffee, Tena. At this point, I would like to welcome Pastor Abigail for the announcements. Wakati huu ningependa kumkaribisha mchungaji Abigail ni kwa ajili ya matangazo. And as she comes, the technical team, you prepare for the documentary. Na anapokuja ile kikundi ya mitambo, wakeze kujianda ni kwa ajili ya nakala. Immediately after she completes, then we transition to the documentary. Wakati tu ambapo anamaliza, tunaingia katika nakala. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Church. Mwana Yesu wasifiwe kanisa. My name is Abigail Mukonyo. Anaitua Abigail Mukonyo. And I bless the Lord for today. Ana mshukuru mungu kwa ajili ya leo. So we want to inform all the church members. Tungependa kuwaelezea kanisa njima. That today after service, we are only having one meeting. That is only one meeting. The men, the married men, you are going to meet together after the service. Can all the men, the married men raise your hands? So after the service, you are all meeting together with your leader, that is Overseer Albert Makamu and your senior pastors. All the married women, all the widows, all the single mothers, after the service, you are meeting together. Can all the married women raise up their hands? The widows of the Lord and the single mothers. Tukumbuke bade ya mkutano tunakutana pamoja. With your leaders. All the youth, praise the Lord. Can you raise your hands? After the service, you're meeting together with your leaders. So please note that there are no other meetings. After the service, all those groups are meeting together. And then, the, and then the leadership of those groups, please kindly note. After the general meeting, all the accountability groups should meet today. So the chair for the youth, that is Overseer Japheth. The chair for the men, Overseer Albert. Albert. Uh, and then the overseer for the married women, uh, overseer Naomi, Naomi, and Pastor Quinta. Please ensure that all your groups meet, and then after that, the accountability groups meet. Then we want to inform all the parents that the holiday program is on. We have been having sessions on Wednesday and Saturday. So we are kindly asking you to avail your children to us. All the children from grade 4 up to high school 
Please avail them to come to the altar on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Praise the Lord. And then on 26th April, from 7.30 p.m., all the, all the men you have a Kesha, Kesha at Nairobi main altar. Ya Nairobi. So please all men kindly note that on 26th April, there is a Nairobi metro main Kesha at Nairobi main altar. Then on Saturday the next day, that is 27th of April, there's going to be a Nairobi Metropolis Ladies Conference at Nairobi main altar. And finally, this is from the hospital ministry. They wish to thank all the church so much for the financial contributions that we gave to them. And because of your service unto the Lord, when they visited Mamalusi Kibaki Hospital, the Lord won 51 patients. So 51 patients received Christ and gave them their life to the Lord. Amen. Thank you so much. where you can see the screens. It's quite a lengthy one, so be in a position where you can see. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we take our position, please allow me to bring to your uh, wedding bank. Just quickly. Sorry for that. Samahani kwa hayo. Brother James Simel. Dugu James Simel. Come forward. Naweza kuja mbele. And Sister Karen. Na dada Karen. Thank you. Sante. Uh, this is uh, James. Who you need to James? From my uh, Utawala altar here. Utoka Matabao ya Utawala hapa. And this is our sister uh, Karen. Na who you need to wait to Karen? Uh, so uh, we hereby do announce the wedding band of uh, Brother James Simel. Basi tu natangaza kusudio landoa randugu James Simel. Son of Kishopo Kimomoru Wana wa Kishopo Kimomoru O Lesimo Village Wakijiji cha Olesumo Olchoro Location Lakata ya Olchoro Narok North District Maineo ya Narok North And Sister Karen Ntaya Adada Karen Ntaya Daughter of Samson Ntaya Binti wa Samson Ntaya of Olomayana village kutoka kijiji cha Olomayana ole kurto location kata ya ole kuto Narok North District wilaya ya Narok di North 
This wedding will be held on 20th April the year 2024. Harusi hii itafanyika tarehe 20 mwezi wa Aprili mwaka huu wa 2024 at the Ministry of Repentance and Holiness katika huduma ya toba na utakatifu Olesimu Altar. Madhabao ya Olesimu. If anyone has a good reason as to why these two should not be joined together. Iwapo mtu yeyote ana sababu tosha ya kwamba hawa wawili wasiunganishwe pamoja. Let him say now. Basi wacha na aseme sasa. Thank you. Asante. So forever be silent. Basi milele ukimie. I'll just speak when you're blessing them and praying for them. Na uwanene tu baraka na kuwaombea. And so we ask you. Basi tunawaomba as a church to offer them support. Kama kanisa mkaweze kuwapatia usaidizi as they prepare to cross over into holy matrimony. Wanapojianda kuvuka katika ndoa takatifu. Amina. Thank you. Asante. wa vita ambayo inaenda kutokea hivi sasa kati ya taifa la Israeli na Iran. Hatimaye imetimilika kwa ukamilifu kwa uhasa kabisa. Today is 26th of July. Tarehe 26 July. The Lord did take me to Israel. Bwana alinipeleka Israeli. And he showed me a lot of missiles, a lot of missiles coming like fire. They are red. They will be red in color. Na alinionyesha makombora mengi mengi kabisa yakija kama moto yatakuwa mekundu katika rangi yake. This is going to be a historic war. Hivi vinaenda kuwa vita vya kihistoria. And he showed me how the Iranians are planning. Na kunionyesha jinsi ambavyo wa Irania wanapanga. This time it will be unbearable. Thousands and thousands of missiles they will fire. Wakati huu itakuwa ya kutoaminika kabisa maelfu juu ya maelfu Today is 26th of July. Tarehe 26 July. The Lord did take me to Israel. Bwana alinipeleka Israeli. And he showed me a lot of missiles, a lot of missiles coming like fire. They are red. They will be red in color. Na alinionyesha makombora mengi mengi kabisa yakija kama moto yatakuwa mekundu katika rangi yake. This is going to be a historic war. Hivi vinaenda kuwa vita vya kihistoria. And he showed me how the Iranians are planning. Na kunionyesha jinsi ambavyo wa Irania wanapanga. This time it will be unbearable thousands and thousands of missiles they will fire. Wakati huu itakuwa ya kutoaminika kabisa maelfu juu ya maelfu ya makombora ambayo watalipoa kuelekea Israeli. It was unbearable. Ilikuwa kutovumilika kabisa. And then I stood there and I saw as the watchmen of Israel I saw from afar the missiles coming and there are thousands Halafu kama mlinzi nilisimama pale na nikaona makombora mengi kabisa kabisa And in that dream Na katika hiyo ndoto I took my position Nilichukua sehemu yangu And I declared Na nikamrisha Before the Lord Mbele za Bwana that Israel must win this war Ya kwamba lazima Israeli washinde hivi vita So there is going to be a battle but Israel must win Kwa hivyo kunaenda kuwepo na vita lakini Israeli lazima washinde Because the Lord has declared kwa sababu Bwana ametangaza Breaking news in a major escalation of the crisis in the Middle East. Iran has started a direct attack on Israel. This is CNN Breaking News. We're following major breaking news over the skies of Israel. A wide-scale aerial assault is going on right now with waves and waves of drones and missiles streaming in from Iran, directly from Iran. This is a CBS News special report. Tonight, Iran launched an unprecedented attack on Israel. It involves dozens of drones launched from Iranian territory.
This is an ABC News special report. We're following breaking news as we come on tonight, the major escalation in the Middle East. U.S. officials confirming that Iran has launched drones and missiles toward Israel. And the Iran-backed militant group Hezbollah launching a barrage of rockets into northern Israel, the Iron Dome intercepting many of them. Tonight, an unprecedented attack on Israel. For the first time, Iran directly launching drones from its territory. Roughly 100 drones on the way, expected to be part of four to 500 drones and missiles from Iran. you're seeing on your screen right now is footage taken from Iraq of the Iranian drones actually flying on their way to Israel. Uh, you can see that the, the, the flame column coming out of these things is pretty significant. Uh, they throw off a lot of heat. And in that dream, Na hiyo ndoto, I took my position. Yangu. And I declared Na nikamrisha, before the Lord zabwana, that Israel must win this war. Ya lazima hivi vita. So there is going to be a battle, but Israel must win. Kwa hivyo, na vita, lazima because the Lord has declared. Kwa Father, I command the creepers to get up and walk away. With my terrible prophetic tongue. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty Father, I command the blind eye to pop open. That they may see light for the first time. Para que puedan ver la luz por primera vez. And shout and say, I, I can see light. Y grite y decir, hey, yo puedo ver la luz. In the mighty name of Jesus. En el poderoso nombre de Jesús. Mighty Father. Poderoso Padre. I command the deaf ears to listen to me now. Yo ordeno a los oídos sordos que me escuchen ahora. And pop. Pop open. Y se destapen, se destapen abiertos. Open. Que se exploten abiertos. Now let the creepers get up and walk away. Ahora que los ojos se levanten y anden caminando. And the blind eyes open. Que los ojos ciegos se abren. And the deaf ears pop open. Y los oídos sordos se destapen. Everybody receive your healing now. Cada persona recibe tu sanidad ahora. In the mighty name of Jesus. En el poderoso nombre de Jesús. It's over. Ya se acabó. Gloria a Dios. 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 Aleluya. Aleluya. No ayude. No ayude. No la 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 Señor, levántate. No hay más for, to be carried. Por favor, can you move away? Thank you. Para, para ella. Nadie más te va a dar. El cripo es what? Tu cojo camina. El cojo camina. Jesús. Tu cojo camina. Cristo. Tu cojo camina. El cojo camina. Tu 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 cojo cam
looking for another. A triple has won. Un liceado ha caminado. Un liceado ha caminado. This is it. This is it. Triple has won here. Okay. Give me, give me, give me. Abre paso. Security, sec security, please be on this side. Seguridad, por favor, esté aquí por este lado. This man. Hey, Lord, I'm a father. A triple has won. Un liceado yeah. ha caminado. Un liceado ha caminado. Yeah, it is on the front, man. No talking, no talking. No preocupe, no preocupe. Slowly, poco y poco, poco y poco. ¿Por qué lloró? ¿Por qué lloró? ¿Por qué llora? ¿Por qué llora? Gracias, mi Señor Jesús. Obrigado. Buenos, mi Señor. A cripos, tu nombre no está walking. Un iniciado levantado y ahora está caminando. Abre, abre el camino. Abre el camino. A cripos, tu nombre no está walking. Y ahora está caminando, mi Señor. The cripos have gotten up here. Un cojo se ha levantado aquí. Look at that, look at that. Mira eso, mira eso. Cam Caminó con ella. Camina, camina. And another one over there. Hola, look at that, look at that. Mira eso, mira eso. Look at that, look at that. Mira eso. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Mira eso, Look at that. Aleluya. Over there, a creep has walked. Otra por allá, un cojo ha caminado. Abre para ella, por favor. Abre el camino para ellos, por favor. Mira esto, mira esto. Mira esto, mira esto. Aleluya, aleluya, gloria a Dios. Está viendo, está viendo. Aleluya, blind eyes have been open, my Lord. Hoy, ojos ciegos se han abierto. Amén. La gloria de Dios, mira, me estoy viendo las manos. You can, I can see my hands. You can see your hands. Puedo ver mis I can see my hands. I can see my hands. 28 años. 28 years of blindness has been healed by the Lord. Que viva Jesús, que viva Cristo. Follow me. Sigue al profeta. Follow me. Sigue al profeta. Touch, I'm giving you something. Te estoy entregando algo. Take it. Tómalo. ¿Qué color es? Es azul. A lot of light. La claridad bastante yeah. bien. Clarity. Luz. Vision. Tócame. Aleluya, los ojos se han abierto. Touch my nose. Toca mi nariz. <laughs> Thank you. Do as I do. Haga como yo estoy haciendo. <laughs> Aleluya. Okay, okay. Puedo ver la luz, dice. I'm seeing Blair. He was born like this from birth. I can see the man in white. <laughs> she saw me in the screen. Sordo. Sordo. The right ear. What did you feel when it opened? ¿Qué sentiste cuando se destapó? I felt like poop. I felt like. Pero este, hoy, hoy qué pasó? En este, en este no escuchaba, pero qué, qué, qué abrir hoy? Sí, hoy empecé a escuchar. Señor, abrí es qué, qué? No, a Angel le gusta escuchar él que dice.
mighty Father, poderoso Padre, the mighty God of heaven, el poderoso Dios del cielo, Father the Governor, Padre el Gobernador, He requested for rain, el pidió la lluvia, and I stand before you, Jehovah, y yo estoy parado delante de usted, Jehová. And I ask you, my Father, y yo te pido, mi padre, to now open heaven en esta noche abre el cielo, that rain may fall here para que lluvia desciende acá, in the mighty name of Jesus. En el poderoso nombre de Jesús. And I ask you, my Father, y yo te pido, mi padre, to now release the heaven y ahora libera el cielo, that it may rain here. Para que llueve acá en esta noche. In the mighty name of Jesus. En el poderoso nombre de Jesús. Rain is coming. La lluvia viene. La lluvia viene. La lluvia viene. I already decreed. Ya decreté. That rain is coming. Que lluvia viene. I have seen people recording it with phones. Yo veo la gente grabándolo con celulares. So when it rains, record it. Entonces cuando llueve, grábalo. Bonita mañana de hoy jueves 12 de abril con una linda llovizna una linda llovizna rumbo a San Félix gracias a Dios por tu lluvia Ángel Bacano, gobernador de Estado de Bolívar en Venezuela My name is Ángel Marcano the governor of the state of Bolivar in the nation of Venezuela. Y estamos aquí con el profeta. And we are here together with the mightiest, most glorified prophets of the Lord. Que así, que es un instrumento de Dios. Who is an instrument of God. Día de ayer. Yesterday, el profeta, nuestro hermano eh, David, the prophet of the Lord, hizo un evento importantísimo en San Félix. He had a very important meeting in San Félix y allí profetizó. And there he prophesied que iba a haber abrirse los cielos y haber lluvia. That the heavens were going to open and rain will come down. Eso se dio en el evento, pero además en la madrugada de hoy, many many of those who were healed and in the at dawn, at dawn se completó la profecía. Se, the, the prophecy was fulfilled and completed. Se abrieron los cielos y cayó lluvia. The heavens opened and rain came. Hallelujah! And this has been a blessing for our people, for the state of Bolivar, and for the entire Venezuela. Dios está con nosotros. God, God is with us. <laughs> There was what we call here showers of rain. And I told him, I told my no, this, this is a blessing that the prophet has sent us. So he, the governor himself, the governor is saying that today at dawn, there were showers. Heaven opened here, there were showers. The cielos se abrieron y hubo lluvia. Before the day ended, the night ended. Antes que la noche terminó. And showers of blessings. Y la lluvia de bendición. In madrugada. En la madrugada. Which is at dawn. Which is el que es a la madrugada. This is very, very, very powerful. powerful. So revival is coming. Entonces avivamiento viene. That is the open heaven that the Lord was talking about. Este es cielo abierto que el Señor estaba hablando. Revival is coming. Avivamiento viene. More souls for Jesus. Más almas para Jesús. More sanidad. Más sanidad. I am so happy to serve this country. Estoy muy contento servir a este país. The best country in the whole world. El mejor país en el mundo entero. Look at the news the governor brought. Mira la noticia que el gobernador trajo. The governor came to see me over the airport. El gobernador vino a despedirme al aeropuerto. And he said, y él dijo, that today at dawn, que hoy en la madrugada, the heavens opened and showered in his place. In this place. Y vino lluvia en su lugar. In this place. En este lugar. And then he told his family. Y entonces le dijo a su familia. These are the blessings the prophet of the Lord opened yesterday. Estas son las bendiciones que el profeta del Señor abrió. So the world completed. Entonces 
el trabajo está completado. Misión cumplida. La misión cumplida. That heaven is open. Que el cielo está abierto. And now revival is coming here. Y ahora avivamiento viene. Aleluya. That is mighty. Very mighty. En la madrugada de hoy. Today at dawn. Cayó lo que llamamos en en Venezuela. We had what we call. What you call in Venezuela showers of rain. I told my family that is the, the end of lesson that the prophet of the Lord talked about yesterday, habló ayer en la reunión. So the prophecy was fulfilled. Thank you so much. Mission complete. It's a mission accomplished. Hallelujah. The governor ran to the airport to tell me this. The governor corrió al aeropuerto para ver la noticia. Esto es muy serio. Thank you so much. You are the most uh, uh, blessed person I know. Muchísimas gracias. Usted es la persona más bendecida que. Look at how beautiful your city is. Mira cuán hermosa es su ciudad. And you are still humble. Y todavía tiene humildad. Look at how beautiful your streets are. Mira cuán bellas son sus calles. Bonito, bonito. Bonito. And quiet and peaceful. Y tranquilo y pacífico. And top quality building. Y alta a edificio de calidad. But you are still humble. Pero todavía tiene humildad. Este es el estado más rico de Venezuela. This is the richest state in Venezuela. Tiene oro, diamante, oro, diamante. Tiene oro, diamante. Genera la electricidad de todo el país. Generous electricity for all the country. Y tiene la industria básica nacional aquí. Basic industries, national industries, aluminium, 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 iron, all of them. And you are still humble. Still humble. God has given us all these blessings, and we have to administer it with humility. Above everything else. Thank you. The precious, honorable governor. Muchas gracias, precioso, honorable gobernador. Even for running to the airport to see me off with such wonderful news that the prophecy completed in shower this morning. Incluso correr al aeropuerto para encontrarme a despedirme con esta maravillosa noticia que llovió esta madrugada. The prophecy completed. La profecía cumplida. Thank you very much. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you. Thank you indeed. Muchas gracias de verdad. De hoy, jueves 12 de abril, con una linda llovizna, una linda llovizna rumbo a San Félix. Gracias a Dios por tu lluvia. Beloved people, what the Lord is doing is mighty. This morning my heart is full of joy. Because we are in the right place. And we were right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We just came from Menengai 6. Massive, massive meeting. And the Lord said he's too mighty to spoke the Lord to go to Venezuela. Where they are now igniting revival. And look, Natazama, a foreign country, Taifa Langambo, far end of the world. Look at the doings 
presence of God. Tazama matendo ya Bwana. The creepers are walking. Viwete wanatembea. So if somebody thought it was a Kenyan thing. Kwa hivyo watu watu walifikiria kwamba ni jambo la Kenya tu. There you go. Hapo waondoka sasa. The creepers are walking. Viwete wanatembea. The blind are seeing. Vipofu wanaona. The deaf can now hear. Viziwi sasa waweza kusikia. And as if that's not enough. Na kana kwamba hiyo haitoshi. Look. Tazama. They went. Walienda. And the governor na yule gavana wa Jesus Christ Father Lord wako ya ile miji ask the two brothers to open heaven na kuleta mvua wapendwa the 18th time the two mega prophets have opened heaven in our eyes hiyo ni mara ya 18 manabii wakuu zaidi wa bwana wa kifua mbingu na kuleta mvua machoni petu and the person testifying is not some Somebody like me that's the governor of the state Na mtu ambaye anashuhudia hii sio mtu kama mimi yeye ni gavana wa mji mkubwa Watu wapendwa We have a reason to celebrate the doings of the Lord Tunayo upon your feet Tunayo sababu Tunayo sababu ya kusherekea kwa mbingu Matendo makuu zaidi ya Bwana tusimame kwa miji yetu tutabai tusherekee na Mungu. Let me tell you something. Na wacha niwaambie jambo. Let me tell you. Wacha niwaambie. We stood here. Tulisimama hapa. And I said. Na nikasema. Beloved. Wapendwa. Let us support the gospel. Let us support the mission of the Lord. And you came out and you supported now see what, what the Lord is doing. Wacha tutegemeze huduma ya Bwana. Na mkasimama na mkategemeza huduma. Sasa tazama kila ambacho Bwana anatenda. You have a reason to celebrate. Tunayo sababu ya kusherekea. That you are partaker of the missions of the Lord in Venezuela. Ya kwamba sisi ni washirika wa huduma ya Bwana kule Venezuela. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Creepers are walking. Viwete wanatembea. Blind eyes are open. Macho ya vipofu yanafunguka. In Venezuela. Kule Venezuela. It is raining. Kuna nyesha. It is raining. Kuna nyesha. It is raining in Venezuela. Kuna nyesha kule Venezuela. Wapi shangwe na vikelekele? Wapi shangwe na nderemo? Vijo na nderemo. Vigelegele vigelegele ya wa mama Vigelegele kwa Bwana Yesu Vigelegele vigelegele Nashukuru Mungu Nashukuru Mungu Bila wewe tuko hapo Bila wewe watu wapendwa This is very very mighty Hii ni kuu kuu sana Very mighty indeed Kuu sana hakika And command the heavens to open. And the heavens obey the man of God. This is very, very mighty. Job 38, 34. Job 38, 34. Job 38, 34. It says, Who can lift up his voice to the heavens? And speak to the clouds. And the clouds obey him. We have met Elijah. Who speaks to the clouds? And the clouds obey them. Elijah is here. The rain has come. Eh hey. Eh hey. Eh hey.
moja mbili tatu twende ehe ehe ehe
This perfume, not to impress the people standing around. I bought this perfume because of your worthiness as I behold you now. Because you are worthy, 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 Lord. It's foolishness I know, but your foolishness is wiser than my wisest, wiser, wiser. It's foolishness I know, but your foolishness is wiser than my wisest, wiser, wiser. It's foolishness I know. Your foolishness is wiser than my wisest, wiser, wiser. It's foolishness I know, but your foolishness is wiser than my wisest, wiser, Jesus. 
Jesus has freed us. We bought our lives to you, Lord. Has freed us. We bought our hearts to you, Jesus. Has freed us. We bought our lives to you, Lord. Has freed us. Has freed us. Jesus, your love 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 has freed us.
nitama lagi juu ya dunia na miungu yote baba umeamua ndani ya nyota na kuzipa zote tinazo maarifa ya kwa eleweki umesimamisha sayari bila hata nguzo
Thank you very much. Asante ni sana. Thank you very very much. Asante ni sana sana. Thank you worship team. Asante ni sana kundi cha kuabudu. And the instrumentalists. Na wacheza ala ya muziki. The Lord bless you. Bwana awabariki. Now at this time, kwa wakati huu, I request all of us to stand up on our feet. Na wasihi nyote simame miguuni pendo. That we may go before the Lord. Ili kwamba twende mbele za Bwana. As we give our tithes and offerings. Tunapo kabidhi mbele zake zaka na sadaka zetu. Lift up your hands somebody. Ya inuiju mikono yako mtu. Let us pray. Wacha na tuombe. Father we stand before you today. Baba tunasimama mbele zako leo hii. Exalt your holy name. Tukilikweza jina lako takatifu. You are our father. Wewe ni baba yetu. I exalt in heaven. Uliyekwezwa juu mbinguni. You care for us. Unatujali sisi. You provide for us. Unatutualia sisi. And out of this much provision. Na kutokana na utualizi huu wa namna juu. As per your command. Kulingana na amri yako. We now bring forth our tithes and offerings. Tunaleta mbele zako sadaka na zaka zetu. And we ask you heavenly father. Na tunakuomba baba wa mbinguni. That we may receive them. Uzipoke and also give us wisdom na pia utupatie hikima on how to serve you using the same kwa jinsi ya kutumikia tukiyatumia lord we thank you baba tunakushukuru for everybody standing in this service today kwa kila mmoja ambaye amesimama katika ibada hii release your blessings as you decree achilia baraka zako jinsi ulivyoamrisha that our ways may be opened ili njia zetu zifunguke and your favor may go with us na kibali chako kiende pamoja nasi wherever we go mahali popote tutakapoenda and so i pray today na kwa hivyo naomba leo hii that may bless the work of our hands ubariki kazi ya mikono yetu be it through employment iwe katika uajira or farming ama katika kulima or business ama biashara watch over us o lord ukatulinde ewe bwana and help us to be faithful to you na utusaidie tuwe waaminifu kwako all the days of our lives siku zote za maisha yetu i have prayed this prayer nimeomba ombi hili the might name of our lord jesus christ katika jina kuu la bwana wetu yesu kristo and the church said na kanisa lilisema amen amina thank you asanteni please be seated tafadhali mketi ah uh, i'm born again i love jesus nimeokoka nampenda yesu and my name is uh, bishop tangara majina yangu ni askofu tangara I'm um, a senior deputy bishop in this ministry. Mimi naibu askofu mkuu katika huduma hii. And um the senior pastor in this church. Na pia ndio mchungaji mwangalizi wa kanisa hili. I request the brethren who are busy doing a lot of nothing outside to come to the sanctuary. Na waomba somebody walk out and tell them who are just having fun to come to the house of the Lord because it's a worship service na waomba wote walio nje ambao hawana shughuli kule nje tafadhali muingie katika nyumba ya bwana maana yake ni ibada ya kuabudu and i'm requesting na ninaomba that you don't make me don't cause me to make this announcement every sunday tafadhali sipendi kurudia rudia ili tangazo kila jumapili to you it may be something simple and small wenu huenda ni kitu dogo na raisi but please tafadhali the lord is watching Bwana anatazama. There is time for everything. Kunayo wakati wa kila kitu. We'll have a lot of time after the service. Tutakuwa na muda mwingi baada ya ibada. So you can catch up the way you want. Ili kwamba utangamani na rafiki zako jinsi unapaka. But lakini during the service wakati wa ibada I request you ninawasihi. Please tafadhali. Let us desist from that. Tukome tabia hiyo. Unnecessary meetings. Zile mikutano isiyo na maana. It doesn't show a good picture even to our children. Haionyeshi sura nzuri hata kwa watoto it shows familiarity with god inaonyesha kwamba tuko na mazoea na mungu and we need to change from that na tafadhali tunahitaji kubadilika toka na tabia hiyo house of prayer is a house of honor nyumba ya bwana ni nyumba ya heshima na ni nyumba ya maombi so when you come to the service unapoingia katika ibada 
come straight to the service. Many of us don't make it for the early morning intercession. You don't come to the daily prayers. Sometimes I wonder how do you make it. When I see in churches loitering around. And mostly some of the senior leadership. I'm, I'm requesting for the final time. Don't do it here, please. Let us lead from the front and also show the example to our children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, beloved people, today I am very blessed to be here and I thank God for each and every person who has made the service today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to welcome everybody into this worship service and I want to thank God for our visitors who have come. Let us appreciate the Lord for our visitors. Please feel most welcome into the house of your father. We are also very blessed. We have a blessed bishop. Bishop Lynette who is here with us and I don't know where she is going to pass to come and greet us because we are really flooded but she'll find her way to come then come with a microphone so she can greet us I'm not sure whether Dr. Uh, Jonathan has arrived. Dr. Jonathan, are you already here? Not yet. I know he's coming. But we thank God for Bishop Lynette. Uh, she's in the service here today. Welcome, Askofu. Bishop Lynette works in the office of the Archbishop. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome. Karibu. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah utawala. Hallelujah utawala. Just wave somebody somewhere. It's a blessed service. And I'm happy to be here. I said it before. And I say it again. This is home for me. I am not a visitor. And I'm always happy to be back home. And today I just want to encourage all of us because of what we watched and if you followed the news this past week you can see that there is an acceleration spiritual acceleration the first clip that we watched about Israel the prophecy and the ongoing fulfillment I don't want us to look at it just like any other. Because what we are seeing is very important to us as the Church of Christ. Because it was written in the Bible. Senior, if you allow me, I just read that verse. From the book of Luke, chapter 21. Luke chapter 21. Luke chapter 21. Luka, so that you may open your eyes I know that it's, the, it's an hour for us to prepare if you had backslidden it's time to rise up on your feet if you are thinking of going back it's time to stop and, foc and refocus if you are getting tired it's time to strengthen the feeble feet if you 
Verse 20. The word of God says. When you see Jerusalem being surrounded by armies. You will know that its desolation is near. Verse 21. Let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let those in the city get out. And let those in the country not enter the city. Verse 22. For this is the time of punishment. In fulfillment of what has been written. Rather verse 28. When these things begin to take place, this is for us as the church of Christ. When these things begin to take place, stand up and lift up your heads because your redemption is drawing near. So precious people, as we see the war raging in Iran, between Rinar and Israel, I'm begging us. Let us lift up our head. Let us lift up our head. Because our salvation is near. Our redemption is near. The rapture is near. Nobody knows the day or the hour. But the season we can tell. It's almost here with us. So let us soldier on. Let us keep going. If you are in sin, repent today. Walk in righteousness. It may happen today, tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, ten years from now. Nobody knows. But one thing we know. What is going on in Israel? It will increase after the church has gone. And already it's picking momentum. The Lord bless us all. Thank you. Asante. Thank you so much, Bishop. Asante sana skofu. And uh, I wanted to also request parents. Ingependa pia. It's always good to let your children go to Sunday school. The Lord will help them to grow in the fear of God. Let them know that when they come to church, they have their own school to go to. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, uh, I want to thank God for the leadership in the church. All the overseers, the pastors, the elders. Let me see you stand up. If you are a leader, stand up on your feet. And I'm doing this so that none of us get stranded. You have somebody who can reach to next to you. Praise the Lord. I want to thank you leaders uh, for serving the Lord in this place and for being there all the time and for leading the way for the church to follow as we prepare to meet our creator one day. So let us clap to the leaders who are here today. May you be seated. I really appreciate you very much. Even for your commitment and dedication. And I want to thank Mama Senior Deputy Archbishop Pastor Wema very much. I want to thank you for the support. Every other minute. The Lord bless you. Because of time, allow me to say a few things. And then now we continue. Beloved people, 
Thank you so much. Asante ni sana. Everybody who was able to attend last Sunday service. Nyote mliohudhuria ibada wiki iliyopita. The family service. Ibada ya kijamii. And also participating in the project of faith. Ambao pia tena mliohusika katika mradi wa imani. I'm saying a very big thank you. Natewa shukrani zangu kubwa sana. Even for the leaders who were able to put themselves together to make it a success. Hata kwa viongozi waliokuja pamoja kufanikisha ibada hiyo ya kijamii. And a very big Big thank you too. Na shukran za dhati pia. To those who were able to respond to my call. Walioitikia mwito wangu. And we were able to join hands together. Tukaweza kuungana pamoja. The Lord helped us. Bwana alitusaidia. We thank God even for building us together as a family. Tunashukuru Bwana kwa kutuunganisha na kutujenga pamoja kama jamii. I want to thank all the departments. Ningependa kuwashukuru sana idara zote. That worked tirelessly. Ambazo zilifanya kazi pasipo kuchoka. From Friday or Thursday there about. Kuanzia Alhamisi Ijumaa hapo. To ensure that last Sunday was a success. Kuhakikisha kwamba Jumapili iliyopita ilifanikiwa. I can list all of you. Siwezi kuwataja nyote. But you know the roles you played. Lakini kwa hakika mnatambua kazi mliyotenda. May the Lord Jehovah God bless you. Bwana Mungu Yehova apate kuwabariki and use you na kuwatumia to bring the church together. Kuzidi kuwaleta kuileta kanisa pamoja. You are reward is waiting. Ile adhabu yenu inawangojea. Beloved people, walio wapendwa sana. Today you have seen what happened what's happening in Venezuela. Leo hii mmeona yanayoendelea kutukia kule Venezuela. The Lord is visiting nations. Bwana anayatembelea mataifa. The Bible is being fulfilled. Biblia inatimia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And one day we'll be out of this place. Na siku moja tutaondoka mahali hapa. And therefore, na kwa hivyo, I want to thank this church very very much ningependa kulishukuru kanisa hili sana for supporting the agenda of the missions of the lord kwa kuweza kutegemeza misheni ya bwana the lord has really helped us bwana ametusaidia kwa hakika we normally clear our allocation when it comes sila mara huwa tunamaliza mgao wetu tunapopewa and look at what the lord is doing now by using his servants out there na sasa tazama yale ambayo bwana anatenda kupitia watumishi wake kule nje may you be encouraged to continue serving the Lord in this way. Tafadhali muhimizike kuendelea kumtumikia Bwana katika namna hii. And the mission like I said are almost halfway. Na vile ni ambao niliwaambia misheni ya Bwana karibu inafika katikati. It's a whole month mission plus some days. Ni misheni ya zaidi ya mwezi mmoja na siku zingine kadhaa juu yake. And you see what the Lord is already doing. Na mnaona yale ambayo tayari Bwana anatekeleza. So let us be encouraged to continue to support faithfully. Tafadhali muhimizike kuendelea kutegemeza kwa uaminifu. Venezuela is the extreme end of the world. Venezuela ni ngambo nyingine ile mbali kabisa ya dunia. And the Bible says. Na Biblia inasema. And this gospel of the kingdom. Na injili ya ufalme shall be preached. Itahubiriwa in all the world kote kote ulimwenguni as a witness to all the nations kama ushahidi kwa mataifa yote and then we'll go home kisha wataenda nyumbani hallelujah hallelujah the end shall come hatima yake itafika we will leave this world tutaondoka huko duniani we'll actually leave this world and go home hakika taondoka duniani huko na kwenda nyumbani that's what i'm saying hicho ndicho nasema that when we have an opportunity to serve the lord with our substance tunapopata nafasi ya kumtumikia bwana kwa rasilimali zetu please run tafadhali kimbia don't wait to be coerced usingoje kusukumwa to be convinced uweza kushawishiwa for a scripture to be read for you to react eti usome maandiko kwanza ndipo ukaweza kushtuka no hapana you just have unatumikia tu bwana the lord is happy to see us serve joyfully bwana you are furahia sana tunapomtumikia kwa furaha hallelujah hallelujah and so i encourage everybody basi nawaimiza nyote to always take the first step tafadhali uwe wa kwanza kuchukua hatua ya kwanza praise the lord bwana asifiwe one day siku moja you will never be asked for this hautaombwa ufanye hivi and i pray na ninaomba that you do it uifanye as you prepare to go home unapojiandaa kwenda nyumbani because kwa sababu if you don't do it ukapokosa kufanya and you remain na ubaki you will long utatamani you will long you will come with thousands of shillings to want to support but it will be too late for you utakuja na 
maelfu ya pesa ukitamani sana kutegemeza misheni za Bwana lakini itakuepo nafasi kama hiyo and the lord is not asking you what he has not given to you na Bwana hakuombi kile ambacho hajakupatia and so today basi kwa hivyo leo i will be gathering in different groups i will come around to every group tutakapokusanyika kwenye vikundi tofauti mimi mwenyewe nitapitia kwenye mikutano hiyo haleluya haleluya i will attend each and every single meeting nitapitia na kudhuria kila moja wapo ya mikutano hiyo i will meet with the ladies nitakutana na wadada i only have an agenda as you do your other agendas nitakuwa na agenda moja na muendelee na agenda zenu and also the men na kisha nikupitie pale kwa wanaume and the youth kisha nipitie kwa mkutano wa vijana and so i'm saying ninasema hivi if you are a christian iwapo wewe ni mkristo you are born again umeokoka you love god unampenda mungu then you wait until i meet with you Uta, in those groups utangojea hadi wakati askofu atafika kwenye mkutano wenu kwenye vikundi don't run away tafadhali ai usitoroke praise the lord bwana asifiwe the lord is helping us bwana anatusaidia and i'll say a few more things during those meetings nita zai, fa, fafanua zaidi katika mikutano hiyo now sasa Our brother Phil Shamola are you here with your family? Dugu yetu Phil Shamola pamoja na jamii yako je mko kanisani? Are you around? Je mko kanisani? Phil Shamola. Jamii ya ndugu wetu Phil uh, Shamola. Oh please come. Tafadhali njo. And where is mama with the baby? Mama yuko wapi pamoja na mtoto? Oh yeah, Lucy you there. Now uh, this family is bereaved. Familia hii wamefiwa. The father to our brother Field Shamola rested Baba yake Field Shamola aliweza kupumzika And I think you have seen that on our walls they Nam- communicated Na mliona hiyo mkiweza kutangaziwa katika um, jukwa zetu za kijamii Hallelujah Hallelujah That's all right And so I want to pray for them because they'll be traveling home Ningependa kuwaombea manake watakuwa kisafiri nyumbani And this precious baby is here mtoto, for the first time. Na mtoto huyu wa dhamana yuko hapa kwa mara ya kwanza. And will be traveling home for the funeral. Na pia atakuwa kisafiri kuelekea kwa matanga hiyo. So I just want to pray for this precious baby. Ningependa kumwombea mtoto huyu wa dhamana and dedicate this child to the Lord. Na kumtia wakfu mtoto huyu kwa Bwana. Even as we pray for them. Tunapowaombea And so uh, let me pray for this baby. Kwa hivyo wacha nimwombe mtoto huyu. This baby is called Tehila Patience. Anaitwa Tehila Patience. Is here for the first time. Na yuko hapa kwa mara ya kwanza. Let me pray. Wacha nimwombe. Father in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Baba katika jina kuu la Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. I want to thank you for the family of Phil Shamola. Ningependa kushukuru kwa jamii ya ndugu wetu Phil Shamola. Together the wife Lucy. Pamoja na mkewe Lucy. And this precious babies. Na mtoto watoto hawa wa dhamana. And today I dedicate baby Tahila into your very able hands. Leo hii namtia wakfu mtoto Tahila katika mkono wako wa uwezo I dedicate this child unto you my father Namtia wakfu mtoto huyu baba yangu In the name of God the Father katika jina la Mungu Baba God the Son Mungu Mwana and the mighty Holy Spirit Naye Roho Mtakatifu Mkuu Father I declare that this child Baba natangaza ya kwamba mtoto huyu is a child of God ni mwana wa Mungu and I disconnect this child from all other blood covenants namtenganisha mtoto huyu na maagano yote ya damu and i break every curse in this family navunja kila laana katika jamii hii mighty father baba mkuu i declare that this child will grow in the fear of god natangaza ya kuwa mtoto huyu atakuwa katika hofu ya bwana will grow in stature atakuwa katika kima and will win favor na atapata kibali before you 
and before everybody. Mighty Father, I cover this child by the blood of Jesus and I pray my Father that this child will grow in perfect health that has to travel home to the village. She will cover this family by the blood of Jesus. It will provide for this family every need at this trying moment and more than enough to be able to take care of their family very well. Do you know how faithful they have been servants in the house? Jehovah, I pray that may comfort them. It's painful to lose a dear one. But we have hope. Give them this hope and protect them, my father, wherever they'll be going home. I bless them. Bless them with provision, my father, with your protection by the blood of Jesus. And grant them safety covered by the blood of Jesus all the way home during their stay and they come back. We thank you and we honor you. And now, may you receive this baby into your hands and watch over this child as he grows in the fear of God. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray and believe. Amen. Thank you very much. Asante ni sana. Please reach out to them. They, they need our encouragement. And I want to thank you also for standing with our brother Nelson Mandela. Who is back now? Nelson, where are you? Nelson Mandela and your family. Nelson Mandela and Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, you able to are you able to come? I think this it's it's it is safer to come like this. So can I have another microphone? Just just walk across like this, maybe. Just come to the end. I think it's a bit dry here, so. Praise the Lord, Church. Praise the Lord again. Uh, my name is Nelson Mandela. Nelson uh, Mandela. The father to the late Zion Gweth Mandela. Baba yake Keaga Zion Gweth Mandela. I would love uh, to let her introduce herself. Then I'll begin. Kependa kumruso ajitambulishi kisha ntaendelea. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. Praise the Lord again. Bwana sifiwe tena. I'm Valentine Mwago. Naitwa Valentine Mwago. Mama yake marehemu Zion Gwet. Mama yake mwenda zake Zion Gwet. Tumekuja kusema asante kwa kutusimama na sisi kwa hiyo safari. Mungu awabariki na msia ikosa awabariki tena sana. Nashukuru. Yeah, I just want to thank the Lord uh, for the father that he has brought us. He has comforted us and he has given us strength in every situation. Just want to thank him for everything. 
One just to thank the bishop. Na mshukuru askofu. Ama bishop. Ama askofu. Our overseer and entire pastors. Waangalizi na wachungaji wote. And uh, everyone who stood by us. Na wote ambayo walisimama nasi katika msiba. It's a great pleasure. Ni tunku mzuri sana. That uh, to see our brothers you standing each together. Kuona wandugu wakisimama nasi wakati wa msiba. And also your bishop standing with you. I just want to bless the Lord. And I bless you all. Asante. Asante. Thank you so much. Asante ni sana. And uh, I want to thank everybody who was able to stand with them. Na washukuru nyote yamba muleza kuwategemeza. May the Lord bless you too. Bwana apate kuwabariki. Amen. Amen. And so beloved people, kwa hivyo wapendwa sana, um, we will have a meeting like I said. Nimesema atakuwa na mikutano yetu namna ambayo nimetangulia kutaja. And I will share a little more. Na nitaweza kufafanua zaidi. At this juncture, wakati huu, I would like us to be up on our feet. Ningependa kuwaomba msimame so that we may worship the Lord together. Ili kwamba tumabudu Bwana pamoja. Led by the worship team. Tukiongozwa na kundi ya ibada. And this is the hour. Huu ndio wakati. If you have anything you want to take before the Lord. Iwapo una jambo ungependa kuleta mbele za Bwana. You can now talk to God as we worship him today. Unaweza kuzungumza na Bwana tunapomwabudu leo hii. Sometimes it gets too tough on you. Wakati mwingine unasombwa na kulemewa sana. Until you don't know what to do. Unashindwa ufanye vipi? Jesus said. Yesu alisema, "Come unto me." Jooni kwangu. All of you. Enyi nyote. Who have heavy laden. Mlio na mizigo mizito. And I'll give you rest. Na mimi nitawapumzisha. We come to church. Tunakuja kanisani. We may bring our concerns. Ili kwa our burdens, nasi. our troubles, Mizigo, na zile shida zetu. whatever we have, Yale yote to tell him this is where we are. Buwana, ni hapa we cannot make it without you. Buwana, si bila wewe. May the Lord help us today. Wacha buwana,
Around you because many things have surrounded you. You try to come out, you are not able on your own. Let me tell you today, Jesus, if He surrounds you, there will be a difference. You are surrounded. By disease and sickness. The children are sick. Your parents are sick. I am here to encourage you. Call on his name. The decree has been made. It is still flowing. But what about you? Step out. Lift up your hands. Let him know that you want him to surround you. Oh, Lord. Surround me, Surround me. My father, surround me, Lord. You are surrounded. By financial crisis, who many debts? You don't know what to do next. Let him surround you. You are surrounded by too many sins, lies, immorality, bitterness. Complaining, and you think you are on the way. Let him come and surround you. Everything is stuck in the village. You have nowhere to stop. For no reason, you are attacked. Let the Lord surround you. My father, I need you. Surround me, 
Lord. You feel like you want to give up. Don't give up. Call on Jesus. Let him surround you. Surround me. Kama hange kuwa Yesu. Kama hange kuwa Yesu. Sijui wengine wetu ngekuwa wapi. Sijui wengine wetu tungekuwa wapi. Kama hange kuwa neema ya Yesu. Kama hange kuwa neema ya Yesu. Kweli tungemalizwa. Kweli tungemalizwa. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. You raised children. Unaileto watoto. You raised your children. Uliwalea watoto wako. They rebelled. Wana asi. You don't know what to do. Hujui utafanya nini. Only Jesus can. Yesu peke yake anaweza. Forgive me. Forgive me. Lord. You have applied for jobs. Umeomba kazi. You have tried. Umejaribu sana. You have gone from office to office. Umetoka ofisi moja hadi nyingine. Nothing is working. Hakuna kitu kinafanikiwa. Call on Jesus. Umwite Yesu. He has an answer for you today. Anajibu kwa ajili yako leo. Every business you started. Kila biashara uliyoanza has collapsed. Inaporomoka. You don't know what to do next. Call on Jesus. He will help you. Let him take over. He Unaishi maisha umeshindwa kila kitu Even your salvation Hata huko wako The struggle Ni makungangana Call on Jesus Umwite Yesu Surround me Surround me Surround me Ask the Holy Spirit I need you to come and help you. I need you. I need you. Plead the blood of Jesus. To cover you. In my heart. Your family. Your business. Your your everything. I need you. I need you. In your marriage, I need you. You have tried and tried. I cry to you. You have tried everything. I want to tell you. Don't give up. I need you. I need you. And surround me. Surround me. Surround. Let him surround you with his hand. Watch a bona, a pusingire from Kono. And deliver you from that situation. Now come back to Kana Ali Uliomo. Surround. Surround me. Surround. Surround. You 
night is full of tears. You've tried everything. Nothing is working. But let me tell you. There is power in the blood of Jesus. He has the keys to every door and answer to every question, a solution to every problem. Call on Jesus. Call him by yourself. You are the one in pain. Call him. Tell him what you need him to do for you. You live a life of wishes. I wish. I wish. I wish I could do this. I wish I could help my parents. I wish I could get a job. I wish I could start salvation. I wish. But today, invite Jesus. Let him take over. I need you. Oh, I need you. I need you. And so now, Basi sasa, let everybody, wacha kila moja, so if you're able to stand, kama na wenda kusimama, stand up on your feet. Usimame miguu ni pako. Lift up your hands as a sign of surrender. Na wenu mikono ju, kama ishara kujisali misha. Let the Lord see you. Wacha wana kuone. Surrendering to Him. Ukijisali misha kuake. Today, Leo. There is nothing too hard for you. Nothing is impossible with you. He is waiting for you. To call on your name. On his name. To call on the name of the Lord. And he responds. He answers. You have really suffered. You have cried. You wonder whether God hears you or not. You have been told everything. Called all names. You tell yourself I'm rejected. Yes. Let the men reject you. But turn to Jesus. His arms are open for you. He's waiting for you. To run to you. You have never known peace in that marriage. You have never known peace in your place of work. You have never known peace in your family. The prince of peace is in this place. Call on him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I need you. 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 I need
everybody including keyboardists let us go before the Lord now lift up your hands lift up your voice everybody in this sanctuary let us just talk to God if you don't have a problem appreciate him if you have a need tell him everybody in this service lift up your voices and cry to Jesus he is waiting to hear your voice he is a faithful God whatever the situation is it that disease and sickness is it that lack in your family you have tried everything possible and nothing is moving call upon Jesus today. He says, Anasema, try me on this. Let's see if I will fail you. He never fails. He's a faithful God. He says, Anasema, if you become unfaithful, he remains to be faithful. You run away from him. He stays waiting for you. And you may come back to him. What a loving father. Jehovah Jireh. He provides more than sufficient for us. He's all sufficient God. Jehovah Rafa. Oh, he heals us. Every disease. We have seen him raise creatures. What is your problem? Tell him your problem. Whatever it is, be it physical or spiritual, he's ready to attend to you. Your brother is sick. Your mother is sick. Maybe it's your father. Maybe your sister. Maybe your niece. Maybe your nephew. And you are wondering. What will I do? Jesus. Yes. Heals all diseases. He raises the Creeper from the dust. Jesus yes. is here to help us. You have knocked every door. You have only received regrets. Call on Jesus today. Tell him this is another week I'm starting. I want to begin with you. That he may go ahead of you. And those doors may be open. Beloved people, let us call on Jesus, the Son of the Living God. He is the Prince of Peace. May He bring peace into your marriage. May He bring peace into your family. You don't talk to each other in your family. Today, may He break every chain and break every curse and set you free. May he use you as a mediator in your family. May the Lord use you as a light in that home. May the Lord use you to bring peace in that home. You have been hurt so much. They have called your name. Ask him to forgive you. Ask the Lord to forgive you and forgive them forgive them and let it go forgive everybody who has hurt you be it in the church in the family at your place of work forgive that the Lord may find room in your life to help you 
Almighty Father. Baba mku. We are so grateful today. Tunashukrani sana leo hii. Jehovah. Jehovah. We are so grateful to be in your presence. Tunashukuru kuwa katika uwepo wako. We are so grateful my Father. Tunashukuru sana baba yangu. You spared our lives to this day. Ulituacha tuwe hai leo hii. And now look you brought us here. Na sasa wewe unatuleta hapa. To bring our prayers. Kuleta maombi yetu. All our anxieties. Mosi wasi zetu. All our needs. Mahitaji yetu yote. To pour our hearts before you. You know each person in this service. You know their needs. You know their cry. You know their desires. Father in heaven. We have come into your presence. But we never go back the same. Begin to intervene in every situation. Breaking the chains of sin. Removing every rebellion in their lives. Humbling us before you today. Jehovah. Jehovah. We see that the time is running very fast. Your message is moving from nation to nation. Israel is under attack. Israel unashambuliwa. We have seen the cripples walk. Tumeona viwetu wakitembea. We have seen the blind eyes open. Tumeona macho mapofu kifungua. You are confirming that you send a messenger. Unadhibitisha kwamba ulimtuma mjumbe. To prepare the church. Kuandaa kanisa. We have wasted so much time. Tumepoteza muda mwingi. We are not even ready. Hata tuko tayari. How I pray today. Jinsi kainaomba leo hii. That you may hear our cry today help us Jesus to be ready all the time forgive our sins forgive our iniquities take away our wickedness mighty Jesus wash us one more time by the blood of Jesus give us one more chance to walk with you to serve you to be faithful Faithful before you. Kwa aminifu nawe. Mighty Father. Baba mkuu. Father, I thank you. Na kushukuru baba. I bless your name. Na bariki jina lako. Oh God. Mungu. If you do not for Jesus. Kama iko Yesu. Some of us would have perished. Wengine tungeangamia. And forgotten. But we thank you Jesus. You spared us. You called us to come to you. In our foolishness and wickedness. How I pray today. That we have mercy on us. Have mercy on utawala. Jehovah. I pray today. That everybody in this service. Will prepare very well. When the Messiah comes, we will come back home. Jehovah, please have mercy on us. Help us as a family of Utawala. Even those who are not here, Lord, remember them and remember to help them. I pray for the children of our sister Beatrice who are sick and even our brother Elder Robert, Lord, I pray that you may stretch your hand and many others that may be sick and are not aware. May the blood of Jesus touch every family, Lord, and set them free according to the decrees that you made. The anointing is flowing all over the world from Venezuela. Father, we thank you and we honor your name. For this I pray in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Thank you very much. We thank the Lord again for this opportunity. Please be seated. As we begin to find up the service. But I want your attention to this. I want to believe that you are all following 
the teachings of the Lord that are coming through from Venezuela. Ningependa kuamini kwamba mnafuatilia mafundisho ambayo yanatoka kwa Bwana katika taifa ya Venezuela. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is important that you listen to what the Lord is saying at this hour. Ni muhimu sana usikilize ambayo Bwana anasema wakati huu. And also be alert spiritually. Na muwe macho kiroho. With the happenings that we see in our news. Na matukio tunaona katika vyombo vya habari. Beloved people. Watu wapendwa. You know very well our mission is clear. Najua kwamba misheni yetu iko wazi. To prepare to meet our creator one day. Kujiandaa kutana na Muumba wetu siku moja. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And beloved people. Na watu wapendwa. Sin is our downfall. Dhambi ndio shida. And we must deal with sin. Na lazima tuitatue dhambi. We thank God. Tunamshukuru Bwana. For the grace that he gave us. Kwa neema aliyotupatia. For when we were still sinners. Wakati tulikuwa katika dhambi. Christ died for us. Kristo alikufa kwa ajili yetu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the fact that he extended his hand of grace to us. Na hoja ya kwamba alituletea mkono wake wa neema kwetu. It's not a guarantee. Hiyo sio hakikisho. That now we just be careless in our Christian walk. Ya kwamba kwetu kwa watu ambao hawajali katika mtembeo wetu wa wokovu. And serve him in our terms. Na tutumikie Bwana kwa madai na masharti yetu. And assume that we'll go to heaven. Na tudhani kwamba bado tunaenda mbinguni. We must deal with sins squarely. Lazima tushughulikie dhambi vilivyo. And understand and the responsibilities of grace na tuelewe yale jukumu ya neema is very unfortunate ni habari mbaya sana that today kwamba leo sin has been normalized dhambi imekuwa ya kawaida in the life of believers katika maisha wa waumini and grace has been abused na neema imetusiwa Beloved people, watu wapendwa sana. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Neema ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. Is not there forever. Haiko ya kuwa mpale milele. One day, siku moja, it will come to an end. Itafika hatima yake. Today, leo, people don't see the gravity of sin. Watu waoni uzito wa dhambi. And yet, Ilhali. It was so grievous. Ilikuwa ya kuhuzunisha sana. That Jehovah himself. Ikamsababisha Yehova mwenyewe. Had to send his son Jesus Christ. Ilimsababisha kumtuma mwana wake Yesu Kristo. To come from heaven. Atoke mbinguni. And die on the cross for us. Na afe msalabani kwa ajili yetu. Beloved people. Watu wapendwa sana. If you look at the cross of Jesus. Ukiangalia msalaba wa Yesu. You see the judgment of God against sin. Utaona hukumu ya Bwana dhidi ya dhambi. If you look at the cross of Jesus ukiona msalaba wa Yesu you fear the consequence of sin utaogopa madhara ya dhambi and so kwa hivyo i encourage you beloved people ninawahimiza watu wa dhamana to bring back the gravity of sin in your lives ukaweza kuleta uzito wa dhambi katika maisha yako and begin na uanze to understand kuelewa that's a privilege that we are still alive today fika kwamba ni dhamana ni neema kwamba uko ndo hai leo hii and we can hear the good news of god na kwamba unaweza sikia habari njema ya mungu and begin to embrace holiness na ukaweza kukumbatia utakatifu hallelujah hallelujah we need to thirst for holiness beloved people tunahitaji kuwa na kiu ya utakatifu watu wa dhamana and always call on the blood of jesus na kila mara tukiitia damu ya yesu as you purpose to walk in the fear of god unapokusudia kutembea katika hofu ya bwana but it's so saddening lakini ni ya kuhuzunisha mno that today ya kwamba leo people have entitlements watu wamejiwekea sifa in the house of god katika nyumba ya bwana they have their portions wako na nafasi zao they have entitlements when ni watu wamefika and they think na wanafikiria that they are helping god kwamba wanamsaidia mungu every christian today kila mkristo leo hii if you ask them ukiwauliza anywhere mali popote even here hata hapa kanisani they say wanasema we are going to heaven tunaenda mbinguni that's okay hiyo ni sawa i have no problem with that mm sina shida na hiyo beloved people wapendwa but they want to receive grace 
without understanding lakini wanataka kupokea neema bila ufahamu that it has responsibilities ya kwamba neema ina jukumu they think wanadhani when you say you are a christian ukisema wewe ni mkristo and you compromise in your christian salvation na ukubaliani na dhambi katika wokovu wako wa kikristo you still have a right to enter the kingdom of god bado wanadhani wako na haki kuingia katika ufalme wa Mungu that's why diposa even if they come to church hata wanapokuja kanisani they do it at their convenience wanafanya kwa muda na wakati wao praise the lord wanasifiwe in fact kwa hakika they will tell you how busy they are watakwambia jinsi wako na shughuli nyingi kabisa oh god kwa shughuli wa they are so busy hawana nafasi ya Mungu and in that business na katika shughuli zao some of them wengine wao they are compromising wanakubaliana na dhambi haleluya haleluya they are doing a compromise business wanafanya shughuli ya kufanya kukubaliana na dhambi they are still going to heaven lakini bado wanadai kwamba wanaenda mbinguni they lie wanadanganya they use immorality to win business wanatumia usherati kupata biashara and win favors na kupata kibali they continue in sin wanaendelea katika dhambi and they think god has no sin na wanadhani bwana haoni they think you understand wanadhani bwana ataelewa beloved people watu wapendwa matters of sin maswala ya dhambi you have to repent lazima utubu god does not understand bwana haelewi and now we know na sasa tunajua no sin will enter heaven hakuna hata tone la dhambi taingia so if you are in sin ni wapo katika dhambi you need to separate quickly unahitaji kujitenga haraka come out of sin na uondoke katika dhambi let me recap on the responsibilities of grace wacha nikaweza kurejelea yale jukumu ya neema haleluya haleluya if you are in obeying the grace and you desire the grace of god and you love the grace of god iwapo unatamani unatumikia na uko na takiu ya neema ya bwana and you truly appreciate the grace of god na kwa hakika unatambua na kushukuru neema ya bwana then basi number one, ya kwanza you must live in total obedience to the voice and the instructions of god lazima uishi kwa utiifu kwa sauti na maagizo ya bwana haleluya haleluya number 2 ya pili you yourself wewe mtu binafsi must be committed to serving him lazima ujitolee kumtumikia bwana in fullness katika utimilifu haleluya haleluya commit to serve god ujitolee kumtumikia bwana stop jokes aha wacha mzao and stop excuses wacha viji sababu god is not man mungu sio mwanadamu you can fool man unaweza mdanganya mwanadamu but you cannot fool god lakini uwezi mdanganya mbio mungu haleluya haleluya sometimes i wonder wakati mwingine nashangaa you know very well unajua vizuri you are a worshipper wewe ni mwabudu you are an asha wewe ni shemanzi you know what the lord called you to do unajua alichokuitia bwana you is enjoying the grace of god wewe ambao unatumikia kwa neema ya bwana you come to church unakuja kanisani you see there is a need unaona kuna hitaji but you sit on your chair na unaketi kwenye kiti chako and you criticize na unashtumu and you say na kusema during our days siku zetu excuse me ah ah ni wewe radhi which are your days hizo ni siku gani hizo zako how do you live the work of god suffer unawezaje kuacha kazi ya bwana iumie because kwa sababu it is not your days eti sio siku zako how how vipi how? vipi commit to serving god until he comes ujitolee kumtumikia bwana hadi atakapokuja serving god has no retirement kutumikia bwana hakuna kustaafu haleluya haleluya at when i was a youth ati mm, nilipokuwa kijana we used to do this tulikuwa tuna but now you know i'm a married man unajua siku hizi nimeoa excuse me ni wewe radhi serve god mtumikie bwana all times wakati wote in season wakati wa maji and out of season if you really appreciate the grace of god iwapo unatumikia neema ya bwana and you desire to go to heaven na unatamani ukwenda mbinguni hii ubaridi baridi ishe hii ubaridi ubaridi ishe haleluya haleluya number 3 tatu 
for you to appreciate the responsibilities of grace. Ili kwamba wewe utambue majukumu ya neema. Separate from sin. Jitenge na dhambi. Separate from sin beloved people. Jitenge na dhambi watu wapendwa. You will not go to heaven. Hautaenda mbinguni. Preparing to go to heaven simply means separation from sin. Kujiandaa kwenda mbinguni inamaanisha kujitenga na dhambi. And sin is sin. Na dhambi haina jina nyingine ni dhambi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sin is sin. Dhambi ni dhambi. It does not matter. Haijalishi. There's no small sin. Hamna dhambi dogo. There's no half sin. Hamna dhambi nusu. There's no quarter sin. Eti dhambi quarter. Beloved people, watu wapendwa. Sin dhambi will be judged. Itahukumiwa. Jesus Yesu is coming to judge sinners. Anakuja kwa hukumu wa tena dhambi. Be very careful. Jichunge. How you live? Jinsi unaishi? In this last days. Katika siku hizi za mwisho. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says. Anasema the acts of a sinful of the sinful nature are obvious. Matendo ya dhambi ni dhahiri sana. So you cannot pretend that you don't know. Sasa hauwezi kujifanya ujui. Sexual immorality. Usherati. Impurity. Uchafu. And debauchery. Ufisadi. Idolatry. Kuabudu sanamu. And witchcraft. Uchawi. Hatred. Wadui. Discord. Ugomvi. Jealousy. Wivu. Fits of rage. Hasira. Selfish ambition, fitina, dissension, faraka, faction, uzushi, and envy, usuda, drunkenness, ulevi, orgies, ulafi, and the like. Na mambo mengine yanofanana hivyo. I warn you as I did before. Na waonya kama nilivyowaonya kawali. But those who live like this, kwamba watendao mambo haya, will not inherit the kingdom of God. Hawataurithi ufalme wa Mungu. Beloved people, watu wapendwa. Many of us, watu wengi, we idolize our families. Tumeweka familia zetu kama vinyago. Yet we know, ilali tunajua. But whatever comes first in your life, chochote kile ulichokiweka kipaumbele katika maisha yako that's what you worship hicho ndicho unachokiabudu and the woman said na pia inasema the lord said bwana anasema you must worship him and him alone lazima umwabudu yeye na yeye peke yake immorality is all over uosherati kwa kila mahali jealousy wivu you don't want to see some other people succeed hutaki kuona wengine wakiendelea katika maisha selfish ambition kujipenda you need to be the one to be noticed all the time kila mara ni mimi na ni mimi tu nionekane the lord is saying bwana anasema separate from these things jitenge na mambo haya number four ni nne responsibilities of grace majukumu ya neema demands that inadai kwamba we should love god lazima tumwache mungu out of moral responsibility tumpende bwana kwa jukumu ya maadili mema hallelujah hallelujah love him because he is god umpende mungu kwa sababu yeye ni mungu love him because he loved you first unampenda kwa sababu ni yeye alikupenda wa kwanza hallelujah hallelujah not because of the goodies you go for Sio kwa sababu ya mema ambayo Mungu anakupatia. Number 5. Ya tano. Let me say this. Wacha niseme hivi. Grace the grace of God. Neema ya Bwana. Do not mean that God is no longer holy. Haimaanishi ya kwamba Bwana hata sasa hivi sio mtakatifu. It's very very shocking. Ni kushangaza sana. But in the church. Katika kanisa. People live worse than they lived before. Wanaishi hali Baya zaidi ya walivyokuwa kabla ya kuja kanisani. Beloved people. Watu wapendwa. Let us not abuse the grace. Tafadhali tusitusi neema. Let us not abuse the grace. Tafadhali tusitusi neema. And be sure that sin will be judged. Wakuwe na uhakika kwamba dhambi itahukumiwa. Let no one lie to you. Mtu asikudanganye. That there is security of salvation. Ya kwamba kuna uhakikisho wa wokovu. Let no be lie to you. Mtu asikudanganye. That your salvation is guaranteed. Ya kwamba wokovu wako umehakikiwa. Some of us. Wengine wetu. We have become complacent. Tumekuwa na ulegevu mwingi. Some of us. Wengine wetu. We think by going to Menengao 6 and coming back and we receive the blessings 
That's the end of the story. No. Wakwamba kisafiri kwenda mringa ya sita na kurudi na kupokea baraka ya Bwana ya tosha. Ah ah hapana. In fact, hakika yake. Some of us. Baadhi yetu. Especially those of us who go to the office. Wanaoenda pale makao makuu. We think. Tunadhani. By going there. Ya kwamba tunapenda makao. We are most And therefore, our eternity is guaranteed. So now, we can sin and continue the way we want. No, salvation is not guaranteed. There is no security. The Lord is warning on the abuse of the grace. Let me read Hebrews chapter 6 verse 4. You know it very well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is no security of salvation. Hakuna uhakikisho wa wokovu. You must work out your salvation. Lazima uzidi kutenda kazi wokovu wako. With the fear of God. Na hofu ya Bwana. And with the trembling. Na kutetemeka. Sometimes I panic. Wakati mwingine nashtuka. I panic so much. Nashtuka sana. When I look at the way we live. Ninapoangalia jinsi tunavyoishi. Beloved people. Wapendwa. I panic. Ninashtuka sana. Why? Kwa nini? Why do I panic? Bwana ninashtuka. We behave as though we have arrived. Tunajifanya kana kwamba tuko na haki. And I'm here to tell you today. Niko hapa kuambia leo hii. If you come to church, iwapo unakuja kanisani. Please come to prepare for your eternity. Tafadhali njoo kujiandaa kwa milele wako. Some of us come because it's worship. They love worship. Wengine unajua wanakuja wanapenda ibada. There is danger ahead of us here. Kuna hiyo hatari inatungoja hapa mbele. People are going to remain on this earth. Watu watasalia hapa duniani. Because of familiarity. Kwa sababu ya mazoea. It is terrible. Ni mbaya. We have gone back to where we were before. Tumerudi mahali pale ambapo tulipokuwa. You call for meetings. Ukiita mikutano. People are busy. Eh, watu wako na shughuli. You say let us pray together at least so we may encourage one another. Una, People are busy. Unasema wacha tuombe pamoja tutiane moyo. Mm, watu wako na shughuli kabisa. I pray. Ninaomba that your business may draw you closer to God. Kwamba hizo shughuli zako ziwe za kuvuruta karibu na Bwana. We received a warning I think yesterday or yesterday but one. Tulipata onyo jana ama juzi. It is good to be blessed. Ni vizuri kubarikiwa. But if your blessings are taken away from God. Lakini wapo zile baraka zinakuvuta toka kwa Bwana. Are they really blessings from God? Je. Kweli ni baraka toka kwa Bwana? Too busy. Shughuli mingi. I have no problem. Sina shida. But create time for God. Lakini tafadhali tenga muda kwa ajili ya Bwana. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 4. Kaibrania 6:4. It is impossible for those who have once been enlightened who have tasted the heavenly gift who have shared in the Holy Spirit who have tasted the goodness of the word of God and the powers of the coming age. If they fall away to be brought back to repentance because they are lost they are crucifying the son of God all over again and subjecting him to public disgrace. Kwa kuwa ni vigumu kwa wale ambao wakati fulani walishapata nuru ambao walishaonja kipaumwa cha mbinguni ambao wamekwisha kushiriki katika roho mtakatifu ambao wameonja uzuri wa neno la Mungu na nguvu za wakati ujao kisha wakaanguka kuwarejesha tena katika toba kwa kuwa wanamsulubisha mwana wa Mungu mara ya pili na kumdhalilisha hadharani na hiyo ikawa hasara kwao beloved people watu wapendwa sana the steps 
that Batu. lead to apostasy are as follows. Zile hatua zinazoongoza mtu katika mwanguko kutoka kwa imani ya kweli ni afuatayo. Number 1. Hatua ya kwanza. Believers don't believe unbelief, fail to take the truths, exhortations, warnings, promises and teachings of God. Waumini wakataa na kukataa kuamini kuchukua mafundisho yale ahadi na ahadi za kweli za Mungu. Na onyo pia. Na maonyo ya Mungu that come from the word of god yanayotoka kwa maneno ya mungu they don't take them with the seriousness they deserve hawatili maanani maonyo mahusia na zile ahadi za bwana wamezoea wamezoea number 2 ya pili if the realities of the world became become greater than the rights of god's heavenly kingdom wanapogundua kwamba yaliyo humu duniani ni mema kuliko yaliyo mbinguni believers gradually cease to draw near to god waumini wanaanza polepole kusonga mbali na mungu wanakataa kumsongea mungu wametosheka wamefika wanamjua wanajua kila kitu wametosheka wanakataa kumsongea karibu kufika na mungu wametosheka wamefika hawataki kumjua mungu they consider number 3 they consider the realities of the world to be greater than the realities of heaven heaven heavenly kingdom wanaona yale wali wanaona duniani ni kama ni kubwa kuliko yaliyoahidiwa katika ufalme wa Mungu number 3 ya tatu through the deceitfulness of sin kupitia ile ule uongo wa dhambi they begin to tolerate sin wanaanza kukubaliana na dhambi in their own lives katika maisha yao wenyewe no room for repentance hawana nafasi ya toba number 4 ya nne through the hardness of heart kupitia kufanywa ugumu wa moyo wao and rejecting god's way na kukataa njia ya bwana they ignore the repeated voice and the rebuke of the holy spirit wanakataa kusikiliza sauti na rudia rudia na maonyo ya kiroho mtakatifu wa Mungu by the way let me tell you beloved people hata hivyo watu wanuambi watu wa dhamana this where the trouble begins unajua hapa ndipo shida ipo you are a woman or a girl whatever you call yourself wewe ni mwanamke ama msichana chochote kile unajiita a man begins to talk to you. Mwanaume fulani anaanza kuzungumza nawe. You are married for this purpose or not married? Katika hali hii umeoa, umeolewa ama hujaolewa bado? The Holy Spirit wants you. Roho wa Bwana anakuonya. You know. Unampuuza. What follows? Nini nafuatilia? You will cry. Ukaanza kulia. The same applies to men. Vivyo hivyo kwa wanaume. The Holy Spirit of God is faithful. Roho wa Bwana ni mwaminifu. He wants people. Anaonya watu. But they refuse. Lakini wanakataa. And they are taken away by sin. Na wanaondolewa na dhambi. Their hearts are hardened. Mioyo yao inafanywa migumu. In fact, hakika yake. Number 6 or number 5. Sita ama ya tano because of this hard hearts kwa sababu ya mioyo hii ambayo imekuwa migumu the holy spirit grieved roho wa bwana anahuzunika and his fire is put out kisha moto wa roho mtakatifu unazimwa now you remain a brother of amen unabaki ndugu wa kutajataja tu kila mara amen in fact hakika yake i am surprised hata nashangaa you call a brother we unampigia ndugu simu or a sister ama dada they just go straight amen Ato what is a man hujasema kitu asharukia tu kusema amen hiyo amen inamaanisha nini the reverend say praise the lord hata wasemi bwana asifiwe amen amen Every, oh, amen a- amen you are fallen umeanguka you are just pushing yourself. Unajigaragaza tunajisongeza mbele. You are fallen because you abuse the grace. Umeanguke kwa sababu ya kutumia vibaya neema. For you. Kwako wewe. Life is normal. Maisha ni kawaida. You can enter anywhere. Unaweza ingia popote. Do whatever transaction. Ufanye kile biashara yote ile. With no regard to the fear of God. Bila kuwa na hofu ya Bwana. 
You enjoy worship. We, you don't worship. Uh-uh, you, you enjoy. Beloved people. Watu wapendwa. He is warning on the abuse of the grace. If you are disobedient, you have abused the grace. If you are not committed to serving him fully, you have abused the grace. If you have not separated from sin, you have abused the grace. Beloved people, let us turn to God afresh. The grace of God is a privilege of God, not a right. Don't abuse it. Handle the grace with fear. God is just. God is patient. God is holy. But God will judge sin. He judged Adam and Eve. He judged Sodom and Gomorrah. He judged Judah. He judged the northern kingdom. God is coming to judge sinners. Hear me people. Stop familiarity with the word of God. Even among yourselves. Too many quarrels. And still we claim to be going to heaven. Another heaven. Not the one recorded here. Pride. Kiburi. Hey. Hey. And you look at the person who is proud. When you reverse his or her life. The other day. He was crying tears. She was crying tears. God had her. God had him. And came the way. After that. Pride. Pride. We are told Tunambiwa. the only sin the blood of Jesus cannot wash is called pride. Ask God to give you self-control. To reduce the words in your mouth. So you may not talk too much and sin against your Savior. God is very fair. Jehovah God. Jehovah Mungu. He brings a fair warning and brings a fair cancer at the same time. Analeta ush analeta onyo na pia kuleta ushauri wa haki wakati huo huo. Beloved people. Watu wapendwa. Put back gravity of sin in your lives. Tafadhali weza kusisitiza uzito wa dhambi katika maisha yako. Remove this policy of human rights and entitlements. Beloved people, it's as though we have now believers in the house of God. Let us go back to basic salvation. Tafadhali, turudi katika misingi ya wakovu. Those of you tell us that when the ministry began and you are there and you tell us we used to weep in circles. I ask today why don't you come in your circles when we call for a wedding service and cry to God. You say, Unasema, those days, eh, siku, we used to dress holy. Hey, vow Who has stopped you today? Je, siku hizi ni nani you know very well Unajua if you are mzuri. standing or fallen. Kama una, kama Wewe unajua vyema. Unajua vyema. Unajua vyema kwa biashara zako hizo. Unajua vyema katika biashara zako hizo. Beloved people, let us prepare 
to meet our Savior one day. Tuacha tujiandae ukutana mwokozi wetu siku moja. Let us go back to best salvation Tur- of the cross and repentance. Turudi katika msingi wa wokovu, wokovu wa toba na msalaba. Today, leo, people read the Bible the way they want. Watu wanasoma Biblia jinsi wanataka. And today, na leo, the way you understand God, jinsi unamwelewa Mungu, with his attributes, na sifa zake will determine itajumu, itajumuisha number one, kwanza how you worship him jinsi unamwabudu whether correct or wrong jikama tamabudu ipasavyo ama isivyo paswa i am insisting ninasisitiza let us go back to best salvation where we know god is holy turudi katika msingi wa wokovu tulipofahamu ya kwamba mungu ni mtakatifu and worship him as a holy god na tumwabudu kama mungu mtakatifu Men of us. Wengi wetu. We lie to ourselves on Sundays. Tunajidanganya Jumapili. We come to church. Tunakuja kanisani. We are very holy and glorious. Sisi ni watakatifu na utukufu. But inside our lives and our hearts. Lakini ndani ya maisha yetu na mioyo yetu. May God help us. Mungu atusaidie. Let us go back to best salvation. Turudi katika msingi wa wokovu. Where we know. Mali tulijua. God is holy Mungu. in the church and holy at home Mungu. and holy where we work and holy where we do business. Mali tunajua Mungu kwamba ni Mungu ni mtakatifu kazini, Mungu ni mtakatifu mahali pa kazi, Mungu ni mtakatifu mahali pa biashara. Let us come out of gossip. Tuachane na masengenyo. You have gossip enough. Hey. Let us just stop it. Let us stop. Tuachane nayo. Tuachane na masengenyo. Tuachane na masengenyo. Tuachane na usharati. Tuachane na usharati. Watu wameishi kwa usharati. Watu wameishi kwa usharati. Hata wale wako kwa ndoa. Hata walio katika ndoa. Tuache usharati. Tuache usharati. Usharati utakupeleka jehanamu. Usharati utakupeleka jehanamu. And time is running. Na wakati umeyoyoma. Bilani people. Watu wapendwa. Tuache masengenyo. Tuache masengenyo. Hata wababa. Hata wababa. Wasengenyaji number 1. Ndio wasengenyaji siku hizi namba 1. Tuachane na masengenyo. Tuachane na masengenyo. The way you understand God. Jinsi namwelewa Mungu. Will determine. Itajumu itamua. How you also raise your children. Jinsi unawalea watoto wako. There you go. Basi ndio hiyo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The way you understand God? Jinsi unamwalewa Mungu. Will, will determine itaamua. How you walk with Christ? Jinsi unatembea na Kristo. The way you understand God? Jinsi unamwelewa Mungu. Will determine itaamua. Your destination. Hatima yako. And will determine na itaamua. Whether you fear him or not. Iwapo namuogopa ama hapana. This days. Siku hizi People have become rebellious. Watu wamekuwa wakaid, wakaid. And, they, and they know very well. Na vizuri. That all rebellious people will not be raptured. Ya, Now I wonder why do you become rebellious? Which Bible are you reading? Ya kwamba watu wote waasi hawataona ufalme wa Mungu lakini nashanga je, ni kwa nini ukuwe mwaasi? And rebellion is is nowadays tolerated. Na siku hizi watu wakaidi wanakubaliwa tu. And celebrated. Na wanasherehekewa. Let me tell you one thing. Wacha nikuambie kitu kimoja. You fear God. Wewe muogope Mungu. You fear God. Wewe muogope Mungu. Do the will of God. Tenda mapenzi ya Bwana. Stop lying that you love him and appearing before people and even before his prophets and you appear like a, like like an angel but behind here Wacha kujifanya unakuja mbele za watu mbele ya manabii wa Bwana unakaa malaika ameshuka toka mbinguni lakini nyuma yako No wonder Si ajabu Isaiah chapter 1 Isaiah moja. God lamented and cried out Bwana alilia na kuomboleza na kusema kwa Isaiah chapter 1 Isaiah mlango wake wa kwanza The words of God Maneno ya Bwana We will read from verse number 2 Tukianza mstari mdogo wa pili Isaiah chapter 1 Isaiah mlango wa kwanza Isaiah chapter 1 I read verse 2 Isaiah moja anasoma mstari wa pili A rebellious nation a rebellious people 
Sikizeni kizazi tu nianze kusoma. Kiza taifa kiasi. Here oh heavens. Sikizeni enye mbingu. Listen oh earth. Sikizeni dunia. For the Lord has spoken. Kwa maana Bwana amesema. That's very serious. Hii ni kumaanisha. He is calling heaven. Anaita bingu. And calling us. Na kuita dunia. To witness your behavior. Kuweza kushuhudia tabia zako. And you think you are safe. Na unadhani uko salama? Let us come out of self justifications. Wacha tuachane na tabia ya kujihesabia haki. The Lord has summoned heavens. Bwana ameita mbingu. And he is summoning the earth. Na anaita dunia. For you. Kwako wewe. Is I come. Anasema njoo. Come and listen to this. Jioni msikie haya. Come and listen to what the Lord is saying. Sikilizeni asemaye Bwana. I read children. Nimewalisha watoto. And brought them up. Na kuwalea. But they rebelled against me. Lakini wameniasi mimi. If you are doing anything contrary to the will of God, you are a rebel. You have rebelled against the Lord. Iwapo unafanya kitu kinyume na mapenzi ya Bwana, wewe ni mwasi, umemwasi Bwana. Eh. Hey. Ndio. No self justification. Hapo hakuna kujihesabia haki. No. Ah uh ah. -uh. The Lord is tired of rebellious people. Bwana amechoka na watu wa kaidi. So he's calling heaven. Anaita mbingu. And calling us can you imagine? Nakuita dunia wazi hii. You are standing there. Umesimama pale. You rebellious person. Wewe mtu mkaidi. And God is saying let the earth and the heaven and the earth listen. Wacha bingu na dunia wasikilize. And is crying. Na analia. And is saying. Na anasema. I raised my children. Nililea mtoto. I raised these children. Niliwalea watoto hawa. I brought them up. Niliwakweza. I fed them. Niliwalisha. I clothed them. Niliwavika. I healed them. Niliwaponya. I provided. Niliwatualia. But look. Lakini waangalie. They rebelled against me. Wameniasi mimi. Tell me. Niambie. Which heaven? Bingu gani? Are you going to? Unayoenda. Just to be saying we are the sisi ni watu ya toba kusema tu eh sisi ni watu wa toba sisi ni watu ya nabii sisi ni watu ya nabii in fact sisi tunaingianga ndani ya head office sisi tunaingianga ndani ya time tunaingianga tu sisi hatuitwangi sisi hata tuitwangi tunaingianga tu and you are a rebel na wewe ni mtu mgaidi and god is saying na mungu anasema he is calling heaven to witness your character anaita mbingu kuona tabia yako in the earth na dunia and then you want to go to heaven na tunataka kwenda mbinguni we must repent ah uh ah -uh. lazima tutubu lazima tuache mchezo lazima tuache mchezo He say Anasema There is rebellion in the house of God. Unao ukaidi katika nyumba ya Bwana. And you have accountability to give to God. Na tunao hesabu ya kutoa mbele za Bwana. Number three says Tatu anasema The ox knows his master. Ngombe anamjua Bwana wake. The donkey is on his manger. Na yepunda anajua ori la mwani lake. But my people Israel. Lakini Israeli does not know. Hajui. My people do not understand. Watu wangu waelewi. Beloved people, what you are pending? If you are a rebellious person, you are poor and you want to I want you to know. Nataka ujue. That the Lord is crying and saying. Bwana analia na kusema. You don't understand. Hauna ufahamu. All the benefits has brought to you. Zile faida nimekuletea. They become a right. Imekuwa ni kama haki kwako. You are okay to move on. Ah, unaona uko sawa kuendelea. He's crying. Analia. Can you imagine? Unajia hii. God is crying. Mungu analia. They have rebelled against me. Wameniasi. They don't understand. Hawanielewi. They don't understand that time is running out. Hawaelewi kwamba muda umeyoyoma. My people do not understand. Watu wangu hawaelewi. The Lord is lamenting today utawala. Bwana anaomboleza leo hii utawala. He say. Anasema. We don't understand. Hatuelewi. We have become very complacent. Tumekuwa watu olegevu. There is rebellion in the house. Kuna uasi katika nyumba. People have ignored God. Watu wamempuuza Mungu. They have removed authority from God. Wametoa mamlaka kutoka kwa Mungu. Today, leo, they do not want to submit under authority. Hawataki kujitiisha kwa mamlaka. No, they don't want. Ah uh ah, -uh, hawataki. Everybody is equal to everybody. Kila mtu ni mkubwa. They don't want to listen to authorities. Hawataki kusikia mamlaka. And they don't think God will judge. Na wadhani Mungu atalaa atahukumu. Beloved people. Watu wapendwa. There's 
blasphemy. People have mocked God. There is idol worship. And moral decay. Let me finish this conversation on the abuse of grace uh, by reading 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 8. 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 8. Look at the level people have reached. The reason the Lord is saying we need to stop and have an about time and begin to take that basic salvation. So I'm reading first Corinthians chapter 4 verse 8. Already you have all you want. Already you have become rich. You have become kings. And that without us. Pride. From the blessings. What are you lacking? Why would you be going for prayer sessions? You have everything. You are rich. And already you have all you want. No wonder. You can only go to church when you feel like it. Maybe to go and enjoy some worship. The Lord is crying and lamenting and saying, where are you? Where are you? I heard it. Bona analia na kuomboleza akisema je unaenda wapi? You have become kings. Umekuwa wafalme. Oh, let me read here again. Wacha nisome hapa tena. How I wish that you really had become kings so that we might be kings with you. Laiti gani mngalikuwa wafalme kweli? Ili na sisi tupate kuwa wafalme pamoja nanyi. But it seems to me that God has put us Apostles on display at the end of the procession like men condemned to die in the arena. Yaonekana kama Mungu ametuweka sisi mitume katika nafasi ya mwisho kabisa kama watu waliohukumiwa kufa kwenye uwanja wa tamasha. Can you imagine? Wazia hii. The apostles came and preached. Mitume walikuja na kuhubiri. God bless these people this church. Bwana kabariki kanisa hili. And the church became rich. And now did not care about the apostles. They began to behave like kings. People in positions. There's a way you are to greet us. You are saying to Limwago Mafuta. We have become rulers. May the Lord help us. And so they were saying, the, the apostles were saying, it's as though God has put them on the, on the final end. So they may go to the arena where they are going to be, to be punished and condemned to die. Nikana kwamba Mungu ameweka mitume mwisho katika foleni. Kana kwamba katika uwanja wa tamasha mahali pa kuteswa na kufa. We have, be, we have been made a spectacle to the whole universe to angels as well as to men. Tumefanywa kuwa maonyesho kwa ulimwengu wote kwa malaika na kwa wanadamu pia. We are fools for Christ but you are so wise in Christ. Kwa ajili ya Kristo sisi ni wajinga lakini ninyi mnaikima sana ndani ya Kristo. We are weak. But you are strong. You are honored. We are dishonored. To this very hour, we, are, we go hungry and thirsty. We are in rags. We are brutally treated. We are homeless. We work. We work hard with our own hands. When we are cast, we endure it. Read up to verse 12. Mpaka sahi tunanjana kiu. Tu uchi. Tumepigwa na tuna makao. Tunafaa kuwa kufanya kazi, tunafanya kazi kwa bidii kwa mikono yetu mwenyewe. Tunapolaaniwa tunabariki. 
Tunapoteswa tunastahimili. Verse 14 I'm not writing this to shame you but to warn you as my dear children even though you have 10,000 brothers in Christ you do not have many fathers for in Christ I became your father through the gospel. Siwaandiki mambo haya ili kuaibisha bali ili kuwaonya kama wana wangu wapendwa hata kama mnao walimu 10000 katika Kristo lakini hamna baba wengi mimi nilikuwa baba yenu katika Kristo Yesu kuwaletea injili So Paul was crying to this church Paulo alikuwa alilia kanisa hili and warning this church na kulionya kanisa hili to stop the pride wawachane na kiburi and he says in verse 16 therefore i urge you to imitate me for this reason i'm sending to you Timothy my son whom i love who is faithful in the Lord, he will remind you of my way of life in Christ Jesus, which agrees with what I teach everywhere in every church. Kwa sababu hii, basi na wasi igeni mfano wangu. Kwa sababu hii na watumia ni Timoteo. Mwana wangu mpendwa na muaminifu katika buwana. Yei ya takumbusha kuhusu njia za maisha yangu katika Kristo Yesu, ambayo ya nakubalea na mafundisho yangu na yofundisha katika kanisa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, Anasema, we, our actions must reflect what we believe in. Matendo yetu lazima yaangazie yaliyo tuamini. Tuna but, lakini, what do we see? Tunaona nini? Self entitlement that has consumed this generation. Watu ambao wamejiletea nyadhifa wenyewe katika kizazi hiki. People are now pursuing their worldly Wisdom instead of godly wisdom. Watu wanafuata hekima ya ulimwenguni kuliko hekima ya binguni. At that time they were even claiming to be kings. Wakati huo hata walijidai kuwa wafalme. And Jesus the king of kings. Na Yesu ndiye mfalme wa wafalme. Look at that level of pride and have not entered. Angalia kiwango hicho cha kiburi ambayo kimewaingia. Behaving as if you have entered heaven. Wanajifanya kana kwamba wameingia mbinguni tayari. No. Hapana. Bado tuko hapa we need to work on our salvation that we may enter. Bado tuko hapa duniani yatupaza tufanyie kazi wokovu wetu ili tuingie. You have not entered until you enter beloved people. Haujaingia mbinguni hadi siku ile utakapoingia watu wapendwa. And if you have seen in you. Na kama una dhambi ndani yako. Then how are you going to end and become a ruler? Je, utaingiaje na kuwa mtawala? The Lord will be looking us today. Bwana anatukemea leo hii. On self and I Kusiana na kujitakia mwenyewe na kujiwekea nyadhifa which reflects a sense of immaturity ambayo pia inaonyesha jinsi kwamba hujakomaa people have taken well wisdom watu wamechukua hekima ya binadamu to godly service katika ibada ya Mungu they are immature hawajakomaa they need to mature up wanahitaji kukomaa to be to be to be fed on holiness walisho utakatifu Beloved people, Wapendwa. we must clean out pride, Lazima na kuondawa kiburi. idolatry, Kuabudu vinyago. comfort, Kustareka. self sufficiency lukewarmness, Ufugu -fugu. complacency. Kulegea. We must clean out all these things Lazima vitu hivi. and humble down at the cross of Jesus. Na wa Yesu. There is a call for repentance. Kuna umwito wa toba. We must repent. Lazima tutubu. So we don't appear before the world from judgment. Ili kwamba tusiende mbele ya kiti cha enzi cheupe cha hukumu. Beloved people. Wapendwa. The Lord is watching. Bwana anatazama. The Lord is watching our movements. Bwana anatazama hatua zetu. The Lord is listening to what we say. Bwana anasikiliza tunachosema. The Lord is clearly watching our movements. Bwana kwa umakinifu anatazama hatua zetu. He knows everything. Anajua kila kitu. You are not going to hide. Hautajificha. You will not hide before the Lord. Hautajificha mbele za Bwana. He knows everything. Anajua kila kitu. And so, kwa hivyo, as we come to a close, tunapofika hukumu. Remember, kumbuka. Responsibilities of grace. Zile majukumu ya neema. You must totally obey the word of God. Lazima uti neno la Bwana kwa ukamilifu. Stop pretending before people. Uache kujifanya mbele za watu. You will be exposed one day. Utafunuliwa siku moja. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you must commit to serving God fully. Lazima ujitolee kumtumikia Bwana kikamilifu. Forget about those excuses of yours. Mm. Wachana na vijisababu vyako. And you must separate from sin. Na ujitenge na dhambi. 
the grace of God has appeared and is teaching us so not to every sin and wickedness separate from sin. You should love God out of moral responsibility. Find out what annoys him and get out of it. Keep away totally. The fact that God is work out your salvation with fear and trembling. The way you understand God with his attributes will determine how you worship him. Beloved people, our God is holy. Our God is just. He is fair. He is righteous. He brings us a warning with a fair counsel. Beloved people, how we perceive God and understand Him will determine how we walk with Christ and whether we fear Him or not. The Lord has lamented today very, very much from His word. He says, do whatever you are doing. But remember, you will have to give an account. Time for accountability is coming. Hallelujah. He has called heaven and earth to come and witness today your rebellion. He has cried to you. He has warned you. He is tired but still willing to receive you back into his hands. He likens you to an ox or a doggy, he wonders, he compares, he says, even an ox knows its manger, its master. A doggy knows its manger. He knows every other animal that does not reason, they know where to go to. But my people, Anna Israel. Anakushanga, anakulini, linganisha na wanyama hayawani. Kama punda, kama ngombe. Anasema wanyama wale, wanajua mwenyeji wao. Wanajua hori na zizi lao la ngombe. Lakini watu wangu, watu Israeli, hawanijui mimi mungu wao. The Lord is saying, Wana anasema, There is rebellion in the house. Kuna uwasi katika nyumba. There is rebellion Kuna uwasi in the house. Katika nyumba. In your life. Katika maisha yako. You are a rebel. Wewe ni mutu muwasi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he commands men to love their wives. They have rebelled. He says, Anasema, women, wanawake, wives, wana humble down. They don't. There is rebellion. Kuna uwasi. The young people Vijana. are rebellious Ni uwasi. to their families. Wao. The Lord is rebuking rebellion. There is rebellion in the house. Kuna uwasi katika nyumba. People do not fear God. Watu wa they have removed the authority of God from God. Now they are into their self entitlement and their wisdom. They say, we have all that we need. So why are we being pushed? Why would I go to the church to cry? I'm okay. I don't need God. Beloved people, we need God. We have a long way to go. We need to perfect our salvation. Utawala, I beg you. The reason we come to church every Sunday that we prepare to go before a holy God. So, kama kuna dhambi maishani mwako, today, please stop it. Just stop it. I mean you can just stop it. The Lord is willing to help you. Hell of course. But may the Lord help us. Today. That may go back. To that basic salvation. Full of the fear of God. Where we'll serve God fully. We'll be running. Last night. Last yesterday I saw a lot of communication on WhatsApp. Wonderful ideas. 
on how we are going to drain this water through the, that, that drainage. I want, to, I want to thank those of you who came. Thank you for what you did. But as late as 11, there was only, I think only one person here. When we realized you are not making it, we had to get some people now to come and help us dig. Beloved people commit to serving God fully. You need this God on this earth and in heaven. Let him not lament against you. No. Please, I beg you, let us fear God utawala. And let love be genuine love. Upenda kunipenda saa hii uko na mimi. Ukifika pale unasengenya iishe. Upendo wa kupenda mtu mkiwa na yeye na ukimgeuzia mgongo masengenyo hapana. Iishe. Iishe. I think I'm very clear on this. Nawazia hii nimeisema uwazi kabisa. And God willing if we happen to be on this earth next Sunday we are going to go into the nitty gritties of basic salvation hallelujah and that is love hallelujah let us love God let us obey him let us serve him Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so I want us to pray as we finish. Let us all stand up on our feet. Time is fast spent. Let us stand up on our feet. So that we may be able to pray together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so I want you to lift up your hands. And if you have anything you want to tell God, because it's about you really. Unajua maisha yako na penyu unaelekea. Unajua maisha yako na penyu unaelekea. Kama wewe ni mzembe mzembe, ambia Mungu akutie nguvu leo. Uache uzembe. Twende mbinguni wapendwa. Why would you come to church all these years and then you miss because of something small in your life? Mbona ukuje kanisani miaka hii yote? Alafu ukose kwenda mbinguni kwa sababu ya kitu kidogo maisha yako. Hapana. Ah ah, hapana. 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 Let us now rise up. Wacha tuinuke. Begin to walk right before the Lord. Na tuanze kutembea sawa mbele za Bwana. And I've always told you. Na kila mara nimewaambia. Your life is your life. Maisha yako ni yako. Don't compare it with another person. Usilinganishe maisha yako na mtu mwingine. Do your life according to what Christ commanded. Fanya maisha yako kulingana na yale ambayo Kristo aliamrisha. And so, kwa hivyo, if you want to receive Jesus. Ni wapo ungependa kumpokea Yesu. Lift up your hands. Yeye ni mikono yako. And just say something to him. Na umwambie jambo Bwana. You know where you are struggling in your salvation. And you want him to help you. You know how far you have gone behind. You used to be a worshiper. Nowadays you come late and take a back seat. You have fallen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You used to be a very serious usher. Nowadays you come, you fold your hands and you watch how things are happening. Beloved people, falling away from the true faith, from the fire of God, you need God to put that fire back in you today. You are a submarine Christian. You appear once in maybe two months. Today let the Lord put fire back into your belly. That you may be running to church every Sunday. And very early. Let the Lord see a change in your life. Talk to Jesus about your life, somebody. The problem we have is family. Please close your eyes, lift up your hands and talk to God. I beg you. you need this God. I think so. Talk to him. If you have an opportunity like this, talk to Jesus. And invite me to your life. To shape it up. To cleanse all sins out. And allow the Holy Spirit to put his fire in your life. 
na uweze kuruhusu Roho Mtakatifu peke moto katika maisha yako. Father we thank you. We honor your name today. Blessed be the name of the King of Kings. Lord, my heart trembles very much when you begin to summon heaven and earth to be a witness of my life and how I walk on this earth. And yet I still need to come to heaven. My heart trembles very much because where will I hide? Where will I run to? Where will I go to? You have lamented and complained in the book of Isaiah chapter 2 that I have become rebellious. Don't listen to you. I don't do your will. And yes indeed I don't pray. I don't read the word of God. I don't even follow the teachings that are going on right now from Venezuela. I have fallen. Oh God, please have mercy on me. And I pray for restoration of my faith, restoration of my salvation. Bring back the fire that you put in me when I began the journey Jesus Christ. The fire that you put in me my father when I used to run to go and evangelize. The fire that you put in my belly when I used to run and go for worship practice. Bring it back into my life. Help me to prepare oh Lord the fire that you put in me as an usher when I ran to church and then sure the thing was working well. The fire that never allowed me to sit aside when the work of God was suffering. The fire that was always longing to hear for an opportunity to serve the Lord my substance. Put it back into my heart Jesus that from today I may go back that basic salvation that I may walk with confidence that I may testify of Christ crucified that I may test for the cross of Jesus. Father God I pray that may have mass upon me. I have seen that my wickedness is going to land me to hell. But today I come before you Jesus and I pray that you may recreate me, make me a new creation that is full of the fire of the Holy Spirit and my the Holy Spirit of God. Come and help me. Come and speak to me. Come and warn me. Come and teach me my Lord. Come and show me the way. Come and order my steps that I may not side track on any single day. Father, I love you so much. But I honor you today. I pray that you may help me to prepare very well in absolute fear of God and righteousness in holiness restore the power of holiness in my life that God I may say not to every sin and wickedness I thank you my God I love you Jesus Father you know I love you so much I don't have anybody else I can run to I don't have somebody I can call my father there's no friend I can trust apart from you you are the friend that sticks closer than a brother That's why I come to you this afternoon. But I thank you so much and I honor your name today. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you for for saving me. Thank you for filling me one more time. Even as we come to this conclusion. Lord, we love you so much. And so let us receive the Lord Jesus together lifting up your hands. Somebody lift up your hands very high and repeat after me. Mtu inua juu mikono yako na urudie pamoja yangu. Tuseme kwa pamoja Bwana Yesu mkuu na jambele zako siku ya leo nimetenda maovu nimekuasi kwa matendo yangu na fikra zangu nimekuwa na kiburi maishani mwangu na kila aina ya dhambi imeniandama Leo ninatubu sana ninakurudia Yesu nisamee dhambi za masengenyo vuguvugu maishani mwangu nisamee dhambi za usharati hata na tamaa ya ngono nisamee dhambi za uongo hasira maishani mwangu Wivu na chuki nisamee Yesu na uniandae kurudi kwako mbinguni Bokozi Yesu nafungua moyo wangu siku ya leo ninakuomba Yesu unisamee unioshe na damu yako takatifu Andike jina langu 
na uweke jina langu kwenye kitabu cha uzima ni jazi na moto wa roho mtakatifu achome uchafu wote lugha yangu mbaya mawazo mabaya ateketese yote kila aina ya uchafu na uweshe uchafu wote na damu yako takatifu leo hii ni jazi na nguvu za roho mtakatifu ni shinde dhambi na majaribu yote na nisimame katika imani Bokozi Yesu ninakualika leo maisha ni mwangu uwe bwana na mwokozi na mkombozi na rafiki wa maisha yangu mimi leo nimeacha dhambi nimekurudia Yesu nipokee Yesu na unipe ujasiri ya kukiri ya kwamba mimi leo nimeokoka katika jina la Yesu Kristo Amen Acheni tuombe Bokozi Yesu Kristo wewe ulie mkuu wewe ulie shinda dhambi pale Calvary wewe ulie mtakatifu wewe ulie pao kaenda mbinguni kutuandalia makao kule mbinguni kwa baba wewe ulie ahidi ya kwamba utarudi siku moja kutuchukua sisi ili tuwe pamoja nawe mahali pale mbinguni ninakuomba kwa unyenyekefu Mungu Baba Mungu Mwana Roho Mtakatifu tazama kanisa hili la utawala hawa ni watoto wako tumekuja mbele zako tukakuabudu tukatubu dhambi umetukemea neno lako takatifu tukakuomba mahitaji yetu na mwisho tumekupokea kama mwokozi ninakuomba baba utufunike na upendo wako utufunike na damu ya Yesu utusaidie tuepukane na majaribu ya dunia hii mwokozi Yesu ninakuomba kwamba utujaze na nguvu nguvu za roho mtakatifu tuwe na hali ya kuomba na kutafuta uso wako na kusoma neno lako na kukufuata wewe na kujitenga na dhambi utakaporudi kumbuka kila mmoja wetu mali hapa baba na kuomba siku ya leo kwa yale yote mahitaji yetu leta kwako kumbuka kila mmoja wetu ukatende mujiza ili juma ambalo linaanza kwa wale ambao walikuwa wameingiwa na baridi amtumikii Mungu wanaangalia kwa macho na kusengenya wengine baba naomba watie nguvu wainuke maana nyakati zimeisha tukumbuke sisi zote uweke na uhifadhi majina yetu kwenye kitabu cha uzima roho wa Mungu tusaidie hadi nyakati zingine tutakapokutana katikati ya wiki ama hata baadaye pale Jumamosi Jumapili uwe nasi au unapoleta neno lako baba fungua macho yetu na masikio yetu tuweze kuona makuu na kusikia neno lako takatifu na kulihifadhi katika mioyo yetu siku ya leo napotembelea ulimwengu wote na uponyaji kutoka Venezuela kumbuka watoto wetu ambao pia ni wagonjwa kumbuka wazazi wetu na ndugu zetu na huo uponyaji uweze kuaguza asante mwokozi kwa wema wako na fadhili zako maana tumeomba katika jina la Yesu Kristo 
aliye bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yetu pamoja tuseme amen And so now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now. May you be seated for a moment. Uh, thank you so much our visitors. I would like to release the visitors first. And where are they meeting? The tent? Okay. So Pastor Dennis Daniel you can stand up. Dennis Daniel tafadhali njo so that we may be able to to release the visitors first ili tuachilie wageni kwanza and the, the following elders are going to be sitting with the visitors today wafuatao mkutano na wageni leo hii elder fred kiveu elder samuel otieno pastor jeffrey nyamesa pastor anton odiambo and pastor kevin simio so you can make your way to that place naezaenda mkutano na wageni kwa hivyo wageni wetu tumeshukuru sana kwa kuja kwenu na ningewasi mweze kusimama tafadhali nyinyi nyote kama wewe ni mgeni mara ya kwanza na uko hapo popote umeketi tafadhali simama tuweze kukuelekeza mahali tunaenda kukutana wageni wote wasimame wageni wote wasimame asanteni sana bwana awabariki zaidi bwana awabariki sana sana tena sana nami naomba tu akutane na mahitaji yenu ya kibinafsi. So kwa sababu hapa kumeloweka kume sana mtafuata huyu ndio Pastor Dennis muende na ye kwa ushirika tu mfupi mahali pale alafu tutawachilieni. Na naomba ikiwezekana kama mtakuwa na Nairobi Jumapili ijayo tafadhali tukutane mahali hapa. Bwana awabariki. Kwa hivyo tupigie wageni makofi wanapoenda pale au pa kupumzika. Let us clap the Lord beloved people and appreciate the Lord for the visitors. Tupige Bwana makofi na tushukuru Bwana kwa sababu ya wageni wetu. And nobody standing. Na hakuna mtu amesimama. That's what I said. Only the visitors are standing. Ni wageni tu wamesimama. Apart from the pastors who are going with them, nobody else is waiting. Kanda na wachungaji ambao wanaenda kuwahudumia wageni wengine tubaki tumeketi. Now, sasa today we have unless you want to add your own agendas but only three agenda for the day. Number one, we are going to be asking the brethren who are not in any accountability group to be able to be registered so we can put you in accountability group as members of this church. Tutawauliza wale wapendwa ambao hawa kwenye vikundi vyetu vya kujivajibika kanisani wakaweza kujisajili ili kwamba tuwape vikundi hivyo. We have a, a, a Google form that we use. Tunao ule Google form ambao tunatumia. And if you don't have the smartphone, you will be assisted by the leaders. Kama hauna smartphone utasaidiwa na wale viongozi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. After that, baada ya hapo, the second agenda, agenda ya pili, will be itakuwa registering those who want to serve in different departments. Kuweza kuwasajili wale ambao wangependa kuhudumu katika idara tofauti. If you are not serving or you used to serve and you backslid. Iwapo hautumiki bwana ama ulikuwa unatumika hapo awali kisha ukarudi nyuma. Then I'll be asking that you ask the Lord to help you to serve. Nitakuomba ili kwamba uweze kuomba bwana kusaidia urudi katika kutumika. Are all these people visitors? I hope so. But if they are not visitors and they are not the ones I called then we really need to pray beloved people. It will mean we need one day an angel to come and talk to us. I wonder whether that will happen. Just pray that those are visitors. Now, I was saying we we'll also need to register those who are not serving so that they can be assigned to serve in different departments. Ili kwamba wakaweza kuwe katika idara tofauti wakaweza kumtumikia Bwana. And please take this seriously. Tafadhali mchukulie haya kwa kumaanisha. We have so many departments. Tunazo idara nyingi that you cannot say you don't know where to serve. Kisha uwezi sema kwamba huyu utatumika wapi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you go out there let me just point out a few of them. 
mnapoenda kwenye mikusanyo yenu acha ni taje baadhi yao so that you may know ili kwamba mpate kujua which uh, which ones are available Uh, we have welfare department tuna idara ya maslahi ya wapendwa we have new believers class we need more teachers there tuna idara ya kuwafunza umini wapya tunahitaji walimu we have security department tuna idara ya walinda salama we have technical department tuna idara ya wanamitambo we have ushering department tuna idara ya mashemanzi and in technical department we have got many other sub segments there katika mitambo pale tunao idara zingine ndogo ndogo mle ndani i've talked about ushering mashemanzi clean water idara ya maji safi ya kunywa usafi on fellowship ushiriki wa nyumbani worship ibada idara ya kuabudu welling and necessary wa waombezi hospital ministry idara ya kutembelea wagonjwa kitchen department idara ya jikoni protocol ibara idara ya mapokezi medical madaktari we have translation department wale wa kalimani we have decoration mapambaji logistics usafiri marito counselors washauri na saha ndoha sunday school shule ya jumapili we have get one get one which i think includes correspondence ambao ni wana reporter we have a uh, video uh, team wana kamera na video we have a uh, baby dedication department idara ya kuatia watoto wakfu hospitality idara ya mapokezi evangelism who injilisting we have a department for the teenagers idara ya wanarika single mothers idara ya wamama waseja professionals wataaluma and less i forgot one or two but those are basically where we are labda ni saa moja ama mbili lakini hizo ndizo isili idara tulizo nazo and so ensure you are found serving the house of god hakikisha kwamba unapatikana unatumika katika nyumba ya Bwana. Agenda number 3. Agenda ya tatu. I'll come round. Mimi mwenyewe nitakuja. Uh, with a few of us to explain to you. Na wachache wetu kuelezea. The need itaji to support the missions of the Lord that are coming ahead. Ili kwamba tukaweza kutegemeza misheni za Bwana ambazo zinakuja usoni. Haleluya. Haleluya. And of course also the project of faith that we are working on. Pia mradi wa imani ambao tunaendelea kufanyia kazi. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. So when you go out there get no one another briefly then get to start. So we can spend about 20 30 minutes we are done then you're off off. off. Tafadhali mikutano zetu zikuwe mrefu tumalize kwa haraka dakika 20 30 tumemaliza. And then kisha next Sunday Jumapili ijayo we'll be going out on evangelism. Tutaenda katika uinjilisti. So we prepare very well. Tafadhali mjipange. I'm asking the evangel the the, the intercessors. Na waomba waombezi to organize yourselves very well mjipange so that as we go out napenda nje probably you will remain here in the seating mtabaki labda hapa katika madhabahu mkiomba so that the lord may give us breakthroughs ili kwamba bwana atupatie upeketi the men carry your chairs let us go over there wanaume tafadhali mtabeba viti vyenu muende kwenye hema ya sunday school the youths you can go to that corner vijana mtakaa kwa pembezoni huku overseers help me coordinate your teams uangalizi tafadhali muweze kuangalia vikundi vyenu and let us be punctual tafadhali tuzingatie muda na wakati and thank god for everything na tushukuru bwana kwa yote the lord bless you all bwana wabariki nyote so the men we can be on our move wanaume tafadhali tusimame Obasi Albert Obasi Obasi please help me just organize let let the men lead the way Wanaume tafadhali tuinuke tuelekee kwenye tent ya Sunday school The youth na vijana you should have led the way but you can go to that corner Vijana wataenda katika pembe ile I think let us carry the chairs carry some